Dear chess friends, welcome to the live commentary of the World Youth Under 16 Chess Olympiad. I, uh, your uh, commentary uh, will be made by me, Can Erdoğan and Erkin Karaokçu. Uh, first of all, before we start uh, our live commentary, we want to give you uh, a special information about today. Actually, today. we are starting on a very special day. Yes. It's called as a celebration day of the Republic. Uh, this is the day. Uh, 29th of the October, uh, when our republic is founded at 1926 uh, years ago, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Turkish <coughs> Republic uh, founded. Uh, so today we are celebrating this anniversary, and we uh, we want to uh, congratulate uh, Turkish people uh, with this uh, occasion. Um, so we made the opening ceremony. It was a very nice opening ceremony. It was only uh, an hour ago. And now the round started. Uh, it's actually the round is it's supposed to be started at uh, 12, uh, 3 o'clock, but but uh, because of the ceremony, it started around 20 minutes late. So because of this reason, our broadcast also started a little bit late. And uh, now before we start the. Uh, to the analysis of the games and of the matches. We have a quick uh, introduction about the uh, tournament current yeah. st st uh, stages. Yes. So uh, the time control is uh, 90 minutes and 30 seconds in increment per each move. And there is no increment after the move 40. So um, also each team is composed of four players. And mm -hmm. one of the boards should be at least one of the boards, let, let's say, uh, should be a female player, girl player, for at least six rounds. So, in other words, you have option to um, forfeit for this uh, obligation for three rounds. So, for three rounds, you also may start with the each player that you like, but at least for the six rounds, you have a female uh, player on your board. Yes, so... Uh this is the actually a special rule for this uh, World Youth Olympiad under 16 uh, Chess Olympiad. And today, for example, the uh, Turkish uh, girls team is playing against uh, USA. But in US team, there is no uh, girls player. So, so they decided to uh, play with all the men's uh, players. Yes, they the boys, they are playing against... They uh, already used their rights at the very first round, yes, so they, it, actually, they have uh, two rights remaining for all the tournament. It's actually an interesting decision by the captain, probably, mm -hmm. uh, starting from the first round. And uh, also, let me give you some information about the uh, composition of the teams. Uh, I mean, uh, the teams are uh, with four players, they play against each other with nine rounds. So, uh, first of all, uh, there are uh, in this uh, Olympiad there is a 38 federation, but from uh, the same federation also some uh, three or four teams uh, are participating in this tournament. For so example, you have no limit to how many teams that you. Yes, for example, Turkey start. is participating mm -hmm. in this Olympiad with four teams, mm -hmm. and uh, South there Africa are, with three teams, Malaysia yes. with two teams. There are teams like that, so, and we have 48 teams in total. Yeah, all together, uh, 48 teams, which makes uh, uh, the number is a record of participation in this Olympiad. So there are there are 30, in all together 234 athletes. Uh, among them, uh, two grandmasters, 12 international masters, one uh, international woman master, international master, 64 FIDE masters. 13 women FIDE masters, uh, all together 114 title players are playing in this Olympiad. So it is a, more or less half of the players are titled. Yes. It's a good quality uh, inductor of the tournament. Uh, so if we start uh, the analysis of the games, on the first board, uh, Azerbaijan is playing with a rating average of 24-12. Mm -hmm. uh, they are playing on the first board against uh, Mongolia. Uh, so, uh, on the first board of Azerbaijan, Aydin Süleymanlı with 24-26. He, he is also the champion of the under-14 age section for the World Junior um, Individual. He is also World Junior Champion, yes. yes. In, 
India last month. Yes, very strong actually player. And uh, he's playing against uh, Sugar Gun Sugar Erdene. Gani Gan Erdene, also an international master from Mongolia with 2407 rating. So let's start with this uh, game. Okay. Uh, same on the Gan Kings Erdene. Indian. The uh, Kings Indian defense, probably. Down. Yes, as you said, Erkins told us that this is the Kings Indian with G3. Uh, with the, uh, actually, it's a close uh, variation. It's called King. as a Catalan variation. Yes, uh, Catalan variation. Also, uh, it's also known with a safe choice for white because usually, as we know, uh, if you if the black pieces are choosing to play the King's Indian defense, they are intending to attack on the king side. Usually, e five, f five, or so. Yes, and Catalan is a general system against all the Indian type systems. Let's say knight f three and e uh, knight f six and e six or the Grunfeld or the uh, Benko Benoni, you can put your pawns uh, as white like d4, c4, knight c3, knight f3, g3, bishop g2 and this is a, a general concept for all um, the black openings. Yes, so uh, white chooses to play this line uh, in order to play a, a positional uh, variation and they chose to be on the safe side, you know, not to be attacked by black. Uh, so they want to play with the uh, on the center line. and on the queen side usually with this choice. So bishop f4. Oh, bishop f4 is called as a Pologievski variation. The uh, very idea of the bishop to f4 is um, to take actions against the black's regular plan of bishop d7. Rook c1, you may uh, have the moves on the board. Mm -hmm. Bishop d7, uh, you can play it. Against bishop f5 uh, instead of bishop f5. Ah, bishop d7. Bishop d7 is the main move. So yes. uh, black's very idea, as we can see uh, on the second board of the very same team game, bishop d7 and, um, and knight a5, c5, b5. Uh huh. Yes. So white actually wants to play rook to c1. That's why he played bishop f4, rook c1. Uh, you can play the most. Uh -huh. no, this is the okay, so this is the uh, this is the mm -hmm. another idea of uh, black, as Erkin pointed out. So bishop f5 also interesting to control the e4 square. Usually this move is necessary to control because now white uh, uh, can no longer play e4 because it's controlled by two pieces, knight on f6 and bishop on f5. Rook e1 intending to play e4. Actually, it is not the main move because. Uh, white has always options of playing d5 and knight d4 instead of ah, yes sure rook, instead of rook e1 you know. yes, yes d5. d5 or knight d4 this is actually looks very natural uh, it, it, on the first look because five uh, you know you can sacrifice a pawn with knight d4 this knight is an interesting d4. option yes, knight interesting takes option, c4 yes or maybe it will just go back on bishop d7 and now damn position is a good knight takes c4 white will play between the d3 takes, Queen d3. Queen d3. Or maybe because knight b2, there is queen b1. Yes, queen d3. If it takes. Queen b1. Or no, no. Queen f5. f5, I don't know. This is probably. King size is kind of. This weak. is probably some kind of uh, composition. I, uh, it's a long term one. With the idea of knight e4, knight g5, because you cannot take over a4, and there should be four queen h7 eight ideas. Yeah, yes, this is an interesting line mm -hmm. uh, with some composition for white, but uh, white chose to play rook e1 and intending to play e4. That's why black played bishop f5. No, knight e4, of course, black good, doesn't Good want. move, good move, knight, knight d5. d5. Uh, the other idea is to play knight d5, so the idea is uh, if black plays b5, you take c, b, a, b and rook c1. c mm -hmm. file is really weak. Mm, yes. So it is taking actions against Black's regular b5 plan. So e6 is kind of forced, but knight d3. Actually, this is a uh, really similar game with me against uh, Shota Zalatse. You we played the same variation with bishop f4, but he played bishop d7, and ah, bishop we d7. drew against him. Uh -huh. yeah. E5 now, and after e5, White is thinking. Take, take Interesting. Bishop e3. Interesting right. enough, it's uh, actually uh, e5 should be considered by uh, white because if you are playing this knight d5, mm -hmm. e5 looks very, very like a very natural move. Uh, I don't know what is he thinking. If he takes, let's say it takes, 
night takes possible d takes possible of course probably d takes i don't know which one let's say d takes e5 bishop e3 bishop e3 and then what and oh, maybe oh, he's about e6. to move so. he's about to move he, he didn't take he didn't take what interesting Probably, maybe this is also possible now, knight d6. But you know, and we have c5 attacking. or rook c1, rook c1. And after uh, that, we have c5. Rook c1. I don't know, maybe something interesting here. Bishop e4. Maybe bishop e4. C5. Maybe he doesn't like this. But you now know, is he is threatening to play knight takes c4. So we play c4. You play c5. We c5. We play c5. But now maybe knight f5. Now attacking both pieces, e3 and d5. So this is probably, maybe, this kind of variation he calculated didn't look very good for uh, white. Uh, he decided not to take on e5, white. He played immediately bishop e3. In, now in this case, what you can ask what's the difference. The, the difference is that the d6 square now is not free to the knight. So after we exchange on e5, of course the knight can go back to d6 and make all these uh, attacks uh, and, and give, give room to the, on the e4 square to the bishop. So he doesn't want, he doesn't want uh, to allow uh, black to free his position. So white's next idea is to play uh, d, d and knight h4. Yeah, sure, uh, sure. This, the, uh, of course, of bishop f5, f5 always uh, will be threatened by knight h4 at, at some moment. So this knight h4, of course, black should consider knight h4. Uh, I don't know how he will deal with this knight h4. Is g5 possible here? I'm looking at the position. Right here. G5. Well, it's an interesting idea because I'm now uh, controlling the h4 square and I'm giving place, uh, freeing the so g6 we may take square D. and uh, d e d e knight d2. Knight d2. So now I also want maybe, to take maybe your I knight. Maybe I can again get, go back. But g, g, g5 will be on pre ah, some positions. How? Uh, knight d6, c5, and knight c4, and queen d2. I mean, knight d6, knight d6 c5. maybe not so good because now uh -huh. c5 is possible. I'm not, but still, maybe possible, no? Knight d6, c5, c5, knight b5. Because now I want to go to. D4. So knight e4. This is also interesting. Knight, knight e4. e4. G5. Let's say a6. And now uh, maybe knight d4. So it's very complicated actually the position. I don't know who is better here. Not so easy to like decide. Because if I go to bishop e6 or bishop g6, f5 also will be some at some moment a, a, a threat. So it's not so easy. To decide how to play g5 of course is not necessary but how to deal with knight h4 this is a question what do you think so probably uh, ed4 is an alternative but you know uh, you can exchange each piece and you play knight yeah but after knight ed4 6. knight takes d4 i think white knight d4 should bishop be better, d4 yeah. bishop d4 queen d4 yeah should be white should be better yeah. c6 knight goes to Let's say. Yeah, but not c6, bishop takes e4 also is possible. Oh. This is not a good idea, maybe, to take change on d4. So it is not possible. Let's see what he will play, but g, the g5 looks like an interesting alternative. Okay, we can go back to this game because we have many other uh, matches to deal with. So on the second board of Azerbaijan, uh, Ahmed Ahmad Zada. So uh, people are, are also writing to us, and I'm reading some comments, and yes. they are saying that Morsin Volodar Morsin, the first part of the Russian, uh -huh. and he's playing turn tournament in a row, and after World you know, Under 18 and World Juniors Championship, mm -hmm. he is now playing in the Olympiads, so it is really a tough schedule for him. Ah yes. For Morsin. Yes. He actually yeah. scored real well in World Juniors in his yeah. last tournament. Yes. Uh, what did he do? Uh, he had six out of nine, probably. Oh, okay. So uh, we go to the second board of this match: Azerbaijan, Mongolia. 
uh, Ahmet Ahmadzade with black pieces against uh, difficult to read Kuyak Sokt Itkelt uh, from Mongolia. Let's go to this game. It's okay. also it coming kelt. from the okay. same Catalan, I guess. Oh, this is also in, yeah, this, probably maybe a Benoni. Uh, this yes, is also this possible. Is a Benoni uh, with G3 defense with also G3 uh, by chance. This is also a G3 line uh, of, against Benoni. Root E8. Knight D2 is the main one. Knight D2, Knight D7, H3, A6, A6 A4, Root B8. A8. Rook, Rook a2. a2. This is interesting. I don't know what. You know, this. normally uh, the idea is to play uh, knight c4. Uh, let's have a move back. Uh, After knight, this. Knight, knight, knight c4. Yes. Knight e5, and you play knight a3. This is the a3. A. Uh, a3. Mm -hmm. yes. Knight a3 uh, to prevent b5. Yes, so yes. it is a starting position. And bishop d7 again. Bishop and now f4 is possible. F4 is possible, but it is the starting of the things because uh, you know bishop d7 f4 knight h5. Is ah, actually, yeah. actually, the idea, yes, the yes, coach yes, variation. Uh, f4 knight h5. Kaspar also played, I think, mm -hmm. uh, against Kochnoy. Yes, Kaspar yes. was black and Kochnoy yes. was white. Yes, actually, this is a, a very tactical line. You play king uh, h2 and <laughs> everything is starting from sacrificing, there. Sorry, it's sacrificing a piece. Uh, from from black side, but uh, of course complicating the matters and the king side are extremely weakened. This is also, uh, I think, but this is not a good line now. For black. For black. Mm -hmm. Actually, at that time probably. Mugar Gashimov also was playing. It, you you know? know, at that time when Kasparov and Korshner were playing, they, uh, the computer's uh, analysis was not possible. So now they, they can make all this deep analysis of this line with the computer, so the computer can refit the whole system. It's, Actually, so it's not know, easy to make such kind of sacrifices. You know, uh, you know. if we can take for the opening stage, uh, I think there are obvious reasons for black uh, to not to play Benoni instead of the G3 line, you know. Mm. Uh, I lost the play a game in uh, Serbia, mm. uh, the game that I got to IM norm. Uh, I prepared against Benoni, if you can take uh, for the opening stage, uh, I really want to show a line for uh, our spectators because, you another know, line. Uh, yes, another line, and you play e4, a simple line, e4, Here, e4. Huh? instead of g3, e4, g6, mm -hmm. f4, f4, bishop g7, mm -hmm. and bishop b5, this is the main line, and this is the reason why black is not playing the ben Benoni anymore, mm -hmm. because, you know, you cannot play knight uh, bd7 or bishop d7, there is e5, mm -hmm. you had to play, yes, for this reason, you had to play knight uh, f to d7, mm -hmm. and you play knight f3 here, instead of a4, Yes. because black plays a6 and b5 as accelerating the attack on the queen side, bishop d3, d3, b5, Castles. White's main idea is to push f5. Uh, black plays c4. Bishop c2. Castles. And white stops black's attack with a3. a3. You first stop everything, and if black plays knight c5, white restricts black's c8 bishop with f5. f5 is the key move. Mm -hmm. And the main idea of white to attack is. The fact that black cannot put a knight over e5 and knight d7, bishop g5, knight d7, bishop g5, yes, bishop g5, bishop f6, h4. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is so yes. another, another another interesting line mm -hmm. uh, which uh, of course can so be chosen. So my point is uh, black ca can uh, under some real yes. pressure. This is actually the reason why usually black chooses to play this kind of Benoni without the e6 immediately mm -hmm. they are waiting for white to play knight f3 uh, in some point and then playing uh, entering this line usually it's considered for white this uh, uh, e4 f4 and bishop e5 line is a very good line for white usually it's considered like this i actually played against another mongolian player really she, she was chance. playing benoni as black uh -huh. by chance and i played f4 line okay so here, uh, the Mongolian not, is not playing. This, is, this time, is the Azerbaijan player is playing Ahmadzada oh, okay. with black pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Knight b7, h3, a4, and rook a2. Interesting line. Intending to play most probably b3. Uh, Bishop b2. Yes. But black takes, is too fast. Black is too fast. B3. But this looks like a, a dubious line to me from white side. Probably, you, uh, you know, uh, if we look deeper, I understood some of the white side here. For example, even black can push b5 and c5. He cannot uh, make the pawns march f forward because if you play b4, then c4 square is kind of weak. Mm -hmm. Knight can go uh, from here to d2 to c4. Mm -hmm. And black should wait a little bit more, but uh, I don't know if black has a useful waiting move. Mm -hmm. Still, black looks better, you know, even black just sits and waits, there is no obvious uh, wait for white to win this yes. position from scratch. So At first glance, play? for example, there is an interesting line, I saw, c4, c4 BC, it takes, b4. b4, and now if knight a4, let's say b3, it's a where to go, knight, and then b2 takes b3, maybe, knight takes b3, or oh, maybe not b3, what am I saying, maybe too much, this is not right, okay, okay, this is not working. I thought this b3, b2, but not working. So maybe he should uh, prepare this mm -hmm. uh, c4 line with some, at some moment. Uh, so what do you suggest for black? I think he may play, you know, moves like uh, knight h5 and f5. Knight h5. Yes. I may play knight h5 if I were him. At least I had a quick glance over knight h5. If I can play f5. Bishop b2 maybe. Force. Bishop b2. Bishop b2. f5. I want to play f5. Huh? Yes. Interesting line. With the idea of f4, knight e5, knight f6. Can I play e4? Oh, but now maybe e f4. Is it possible? F4. f4. Or, yeah. Or maybe. I, yeah, why not? Why not? g4, knight f6. Yeah, g4, knight, f6. And, and I will play knight, e5. knight, e5. Knight, e5 is coming. So this is actually possible, f5, e4, and uh, I don't know, maybe this is not such a good idea. What do you think, after e4? Maybe after e4, a4, there, there is... There is, this is uh, maybe a bishop... A, uh, Instead of f4, we have even knight, e5 against e4. Maybe e3 now, I don't know. Knight, e5? d3 square is yes. too weak. Or queen, c2, but now e3, e2 is hanging. Yeah, it's possible actually. This is interesting. Black is also, you know, when you push the e pawn. Actually, this setup e white, white played with this rook a2, bishop b2, mm. doesn't look like a white has coordination of the pieces. At least, if you simply ask what is the white's aim, then you can find no. Yeah, I prefer black actually in this line. So let's go to the third board immediately to Vukar Manafov on the third board is playing for Azerbaijan, the FIDE master with 2357 elo uh, versus another fide master from mongolia sok ochir tengis tengis let's see this uh, game manifold tengis actually they play many moves let's see quickly the moves okay again, another g3 uh, group card system this time uh, this Knight e5, very popular line, knight e4. Okay, you know, uh, another move order is uh, to play knight c3 instead of castles, and you play knight e5 afterwards, because you prevent knight e4. Knight c3? After, af instead of castles, instead of castles. At ah, that this point, is you move. play okay, knight okay. c3 and knight e5, because you need to prevent knight e4 yes, against knight e5. Yes, this knight is, e5. of course, another move order, you're right. So let's, but let's not waste time with this. Let's go to this line, knight d2, what do you think? Logical takes, takes. It actually looks very equal to me, this line. Probably After exchanging so. all these pieces, bishop d5, bishop h3, bishop b7, takes, takes, and rook takes b2. Queen ta rook takes a2. Interesting. Now, white has the center pawns, black has a post outliner uh, outside pawn and so what do you think about this position interestingly enough you know uh, it is really similar with the uh, position arising from Karpov Ripley uh, Karpov Ripley it was a it was a uh, game that has a place in the systematic training chess yes. uh, so that type of position 
White plays e3 and take and queen a1. Actually, a7 uh, is a weakness rather than a possible e3 you play. Mm -hmm. If black plays something like, uh, let's say, e6. Or maybe rook somewhere. Okay, rook somewhere. Uh, takes, takes. Maybe bishop b4 first to press e7. Bishop b4. Yes. And queen a1. Yes. This is a nice yeah. idea. Yes, this is actually a good idea. Slightly better for white. Yes. You know, the point is... Uh, for the debate of this game, the Carp of Ripley, mm -hmm. uh, Ripley tried to defend the, his um, pawn on the you know backyard, as we can call in this uh, a backyard pawn on the semi-open line. Mm -hmm. He lost the game due to the passive defense, uh, yes. and the author of the book recommended that instead of defending a7, you just activate your pieces and exchange rooks on this position and in play. The ending with four pawns against five pawns with the bishops of the same color. Mm -hmm. So you can make draw out, out of it, mm -hmm. despite a pawn down. So, uh, but also this is actually when you want to play this position with mm -hmm. black to make draw, in order to make draw, of course, you have to push e5 at some moment and yes. try to play uh, four, against three, four against three the rook ending after exchanging the bishop. Or bishop endings. Yes, bishop endings maybe four against three is still not so clear even though it will be uh, probably draw, but four against three... Uh, rook rook and is definitely yeah, draw. Of course, there are some, uh, so some lines that you, you will lose with some pawns, you know, pushed mm -hmm. on, I don't know, maybe g4, h4, g5, you know, black rest rest restricted at some positions. But in the So the point is not to defend your pawn passively. Yes. Just give it a way to get activate your pieces and exchange for a target position. In the endings, if mm -hmm. you have a target position to draw, you can sacrifice as many pawns as you want. Yes, okay. Now, uh, White is thinking, let's Slightly move to the right. fourth board, uh, Gohar Bedullayeva. The woman, Fide Master of Azerbaijan, is playing against uh, Burma, Amin Erdene. Amin Erdene, Burma, Erdene. Mm -hmm. Amin Erdene Burma. okay. It's On a Sicilian, as it seems. Okay, this is uh, uh, a Sicilian with the pawn on d5, you know. Yes. Uh, a knight of five. Knight of. Or is there some English f3 English line? They say they usually English attack use this kind of attack. I like, you know, Topolov's a5 instead of uh -huh. b5. There's a slash move a5. Ah, a5, yes. And a4, knight c6. Yes, b5. Topolov played this. B5. Ex takes f5. I think they played Shiro versus. Uh, Caruana, they played this line, and Caruana in the end won this. As black or white? As black. As black. In the, uh, in the where did they, did they play? Let me see. Lastly. Uh, no, no. In the, I think in Isle of Man. Isle of Man. Isle of mm -hmm. Man. In the last month, they played in this. This month, actually. Shiro was played. also, you know, starting the tournament like a uh, beast. But, uh, and I'm not sure about the, Corona. actually, um, the move order. I'm not sure about this move order. Well, anyway, rook g8, rook, rook queen e8, rook g1. g1. Of course, this is... A logical one. Uh, interesting. Of course, in a, all these lines, knight f4 is possible. Uh, probably black should be... Fine here. I don't know. More than fine, I guess. Yeah. But this queen e8, I'm not sure. Queen about this queen e8. Why, is, why queen e8? It is, it is logical, you know. After knight a4, you need to put your queen h5 instead of the knight. And you press to h2 and f3. But maybe the queen belongs to the c line. I'm not sure about this, the queen. Maybe where she you, just. You want to go to h5 or. Maybe she's just afraid of the white's counterattack on the king's side, so uh, she didn't want to, the uh, yes. queen on the c7, c1. a part of the defense. Knight f4. After knight f4, what is the white's idea? So instead of knight f4, bishop d8 was played. Bishop d8. d8. This is also strange. And and logical. Bishop d8. Uh, before knight f4, he, uh, she wants to play in bishop b6. Just exchange now, the bad But bishop. now you give time to play white bishop, bishop h3, h3, which will be nice very one. dangerous. Nice actually, one. this bishop, go, if it's a very dangerous weapon for white. I agree because um, now knight f4 is just 
uh, met with bishop f4 and bishop e6, bishop f4. Yes, first. and this is probably Rook f4. after bishop e6, white has a much better position. Uh, uh -huh. And this knight will go to e4. Maybe I will, g2. I will double on the g line on queen g2 at some moment. I'm not sure. Or maybe I can even exchange on d7 and knight d2, knight d4. This, this is it's also possible. Of course, not so clear. Eh? Mm -hmm. But you know, complete as unnecessary was bishop d8. Bishop d8, yes, I didn't like You know, this. knight f4 was in, in immediate action. But actually, what we said about knight f4, this position, queen e8, knight f4, here also is possible. Maybe yes. bishop even takes better, maybe. Rook here, f4. bishop h3. And knight but f8, now maybe knight we can f8. take here. Why uh -huh. not to take? What's the what's the, so we, what's we can we can we can defend with bishop f6 you, we, we yeah, can so take, I don't like take. this position with bishop d8 this move yeah what do you say so after bishop d8 as you said bishop uh, h3 and white probably should be better huh? maybe knight f8 it is not so a uh, knight f8 it is not so a serious threat yes but why do do we play bishop d8 you know we have no point to play bishop b6 well, now. She wanted to play bishop b6. Yes, this is aimless, but knight f8 is probably yes. a necessity because, yes. you know, you need to play knight f4 and you need to play prevent uh, bishop e6 yeah. at the same time. Yes, um, probably she made some, I don't know. It's a, it's a concession. and a Miscalculation or something. Probably a concession because, you know, uh, you have had an idea and you need to give up from it. Yes. It's called maybe a concession. Okay, let's move to the second board. Turkmenistan on the second... Uh, Versus Russia. Uh, board. Uh, Turkmenistan is playing against Russia. Uh, first board is uh, Azad Nurmamedov, a FIDE master with 23-68 ELO. Against the Russians, very strong player actually, as we already mentioned his name, Volodar Murzin. He is still FIDE master actually, I am a bit surprised why he is still FIDE master, he should be probably such a international high master already. 24-33 ELO, uh, the first board of Russia. Let's go to this game, uh, okay, Murzin Nurmamedov, uh, okay, this is queenless, middle ending. game. let's say queenless middle game. Okay, this uh, variation actually ready. Let's say uh, opening very popular. More right of there. the king is in him maybe because he just referring from the. Uh, C4 not d4, d4 after d4 c4 probably. Queen so d3. this is the crowning line, and you know uh, it was used to be played like d3 and e4 yes. uh -huh. by Vagania in the old days. Uh, this is the London formation. You know, uh, you exchange after queen b3, and yeah. you need to play knight d7 a6 immediately. Yes. So black has no problems. E5, not B5. Black has absolutely no problems. And taking on... 95 maybe. A5. Oh, this is also a good move. This is a good move, yes. Knight takes C5. I think um, White just miss, you know, mixed the position. Yes, White misplayed this opening. Mm -hmm. Looks like Mamedov. Uh, now she he played something else. Maybe before? B4? No. Bishop E3. Bishop e3, I guess. Yeah, but why not b4? b4? No, wait, wait, wait. Why not to play b4 and b5 instead of bishop e3? What do you want to play? b4, b4, b4 and b5. Why not? b4. He I need like to. I need to op e6. Op open That's the. That's the reason why. Attacking the b4 pawn. So I take on e6. Takes, maybe bishop takes. b5. Or even maybe f takes. I'm not sure. It's also possible, but b5. Oh, b5, bishop b4. No, oh, no, no, no way. Yes, also d4, b5. d4, e2 is hanging all yes. this stuff. So it's not a good idea b4. You are weakening your position. So he decided to play Nurmamedov bishop b3. And... I think now knight a6 is a strong Morzin move. is thinking now. Knight a6 is a strong move. Knight? a6. With a6. the idea of c5 and d4 and also with the knight b4 or bishop b4. You know, a5, C5, a5 yes. is also weak because after bishop e4, knight c7, a5 is just gone. And c5 is another shot. So you need to play knight b3, I guess. Knight b3. Probably knight yeah, b3. Yeah, looks like white's position actually is... And knight b4. Uh, if, uh, I, sh did he play knight a6? Yes. He yes, your move. Mm -hmm. 
he decided to play your move knight a6 knight b3 let's say played by white now maybe if you want to play c5 you have to protect d5 so uh, knight is on is bishop b4 possible now mm -hmm. let's say uh, bishop b4 attacking the e2 pawn i want to take and attack on e2 maybe f3 maybe f3 or b1 f3 f3 but now this is bishop getting, e6 you are weakening maybe and I, even the bishop f5 maybe bishop e6 is better because i want to play ah. c5 or so maybe bishop d7 bishop e6 i don't know why i don't like because knight d4 again is possible and then you, okay. you, you will move again your bishop. I will play knight c7 to take the pawn on a5. Why ah, I need to play you want to attack knight. this here, this pawn. Knight c7, but bishop is. Uh, can you take it? If I take. F8. Take bishop b6. Um, if it takes. Maybe it's still possible, but not so clear. I'm not so sure. Maybe. I, I wouldn't give this bishop. I mean without a real uh, maybe bishop d7 was better maybe, maybe, maybe bishop d7 was better yeah yeah well, let's see this position of course looks like better for black uh, okay go let's go to back to the second board of Turkmenistan Russia match on the second board uh, of Turkmenistan Rudik Makarian Alayar versus Shirliyev. Shirliyev 21 49 euro against Rudik Makarian an international master uh, of Russia, 2386 Elo. Uh, Makarian is playing white pieces. Oh, this is a, you know, a semi -slav. Yes. Or maybe Bishop F4. Bishop F4 variation, the, probably the Adam style yes. <laughs> variations. Okay. Bishop F4, yes. C5. FM in your right. Yeah. Yes. So. This is uh, all the theory right now, more or less. And the position is known for the equality tendencies and only white side yet to force the position is to play b5. Mm -hmm. And if you take there is knight b5 or c6 at some moment, but queen a8 is a good move because it prevents c6 of white. Yes. So uh, black also refrains from playing b5 because it is also creating some possibilities for white to sacrifice over b5. I play something. Maybe. Maybe A B A B or not. Can we have a zoom on the second board? A B A B played. No, it is black smoke. No, no, it is not necessary to zoom it out. If he played something, but what did he? And black play? black is thinking. And he but now he played white played something. White played A B four probably. Really? Yes, so because why we had no moves. Because I cannot see any pieces on the corner uh, of the A1 for white. Maybe A B. Maybe B C B C. Is this possible? B C B C. Yeah, I think B C B C has been played because BC, I don't BC. see a pawn on on B4. Probably B C. B C B C. Yes, this is the position now. I think. So D4 is kind of weak, but how to prove its weaknesses? About what? What knight f6 or not? Uh, I, I think early for knight f6 because knight e5. It, it was. He emitted something. He played knight f6, but I think it I? is f6. Uh, but really? I, he played knight f6? Mm -hmm. But I think it is an early one for I him because... He, uh, I don't think it's knight f6, I think it's bishop f6. Oh, this is okay. Because if you play knight f6 now, f5 is possible. That's why he played bishop f6. So knight... Because f5 is actually a mm -hmm. strong threat. Uh, so knight bishop e5, f6... Knight e5? Knight e5, I'm not so sure. Usually this type of position, this knight on d7, you know, and bishop on f6 uh, is not good placed. They, they don't have a good, really good, uh, I mean, place. Uh, so maybe uh, white, black wants to exchange this bishop on f6. So you want to part with, yes. with the bishop on e5? Yes. But what, what to do with white? White probably would play uh, some g4. Are you sure G4? Yes. Because G4, G6 maybe. 
Okay, I'm, I have a I'm, very, I have no problem with I'm, that. I'm playing for H4. How do you attack? H4, H5. But it's not, I mean, so I don't like this attack. Maybe you have to play with some. On but the black line, is better if you B1. play slowly. A rook b1 not possible. Yes. Knight takes c5. Black is black is better if you if white plays slowly. So the simple idea for black is to play rook a3 and knight c5. You or, need to take or action. maybe knight e5 as you say. Knight e5 is the simplest move. Bishop takes e5. Let's say f, e5. f takes e5. And what is this position? Looks solid for black, of course, but rook a3 or rook b8. Rook b8. Yeah. Let's say rook b8, f4, rook b4. Yeah, probably looks like a, a slightly better for slightly black. better for white because of the space advantage. I don't think so because d4 is weak. Uh, black can counter attack over the b line like uh, yes, but rook also b8, rook the knight b4. is not so good. In d4, yes. So but I'm how do you attack on d4? It's not so easy. And c6 also, if you consider like this, also this is weak. So they probably have the same value. But if if you look at the position. Maybe slight advantage I or know. equal. Uh, what do, you say? do we have to take over e5? This is also another question. Yeah, but what to do? You can take with the knight as well, but I don't know. Or I may take with the bishop, uh, knight. Why yeah. not? Yes, Why not? also we can take with the knight. You know, uh, take that bishop d8 maybe bishop in d8. order to play bishop a5. I'm not sure. Maybe bishop e7 simply. Because I know, I want to play rook b8. Yes, but this bishop on e7 later on will be very passive. I'm not After sure. f4, I will play g6 simply. Mm, yeah, well, probably still um, playable for black. Okay, let's go back to the third board of Turkmenistan Russia match. Uh, on the third board, Azat Geldi, Anna Geldiev is playing against Arthur Avalian, a FIDE master from Russia with 23.95 ELO. He is also in the rating of the international master as Volodar well, Murzin. They are highly rated Anna FIDE Geldiev, masters. Avalian. Oh, interesting position. What's going on here on the third board? So, AK. Let's see. It's a London or not? Yes. It's a London system. C5, C5. I don't I don't like e6 particularly, you know. Why? Blacks of e6. You, know, you you just restrict your bishop for nothing. Yes, but this is usually uh, so bishop the popular B5. line, you know. Yes, bishop b5. Knight goes to e7, mm -hmm. f5, d6, bishop e7, knight d6, all these lines. Oh, knight f3 was not the move. You know, the point is to play bishop b5 directly instead of knight f3 yes this so is, you you need to part with the the bishop the knight because e5 square is really important yeah uh -huh. yeah you're, you're right maybe bishop b5 is the you know the it is the if vladko kovacevic sees these positions he doesn't like the bishop b5 particularly he says yeah. that it is too modern to give up your bishop there yeah he just played now bishop, bishop b3. b5 your move but now actually bishop g3 I think it's pointless. F6, F6, F6 was the threat, takes, but. Knight takes G3. Now. Uh, He's no, thinking. Still thinking. About, about knight E7 or not? Knight E7. Because, you know, uh, if black takes with the B, he also have additional opportunities of C5, but he's also thinking about HG. And after HG, let's say. B, C, and Bishop E3. He's also thinking about it, but F5 is really strong, I guess. Shutting all the threats. F5, are you sure? Yes, because on Knight G5, I will play H6. Maybe I, why, why not G6, I say? I want to play E5 now. Uh, uh, why we play Queen C2, I guess? But this taken on G6, I don't know. Queen G7 is possible, so. He just uh, queen, queen c2 e5 is looks like a possible idea because now the, if you sacrifice uh, takes takes and uh, queen I'll, g7. I'll prepare i will prepare the yes, this doesn't uh, look like, like winning like uh, e after e5 d d f e yes. and i will put knight g5 first knight g5 P preparing everything 
prepared. <laughs> yes. Okay. Because you know, yeah. I have additional idea. If you play e4, I will take bishop takes e4, e4. and bishop takes e4, of course. Bishop takes e4. Yes, d4 or queen b3. I think this is you know uh -huh. uh, kind queen, of lost. Queen b3. Yes, king h8, rook h7. Um, you take something, but I will castle long. Yes, then. good idea. So my point so was that knight g5. Knight g5. So f takes e5. Probably this is not a good idea. If you take with the bishop, so it is okay for me. You have to make some preparation. Huh? E5, e maybe queen g7. Maybe maybe queen g7 instead of e5. What? Maybe queen g7 instead of e5. You no, just protect. Yeah, yeah. No, maybe it's not a good idea, g6. No, no, no. I like g6. I'm not so sure. Because, because queen c2, queen g7. I can do nothing. Queen g7. Queen g7. And you want to play e5. Yes. I like queen g7. Yeah, but if I castle long after e5, knight g5, maybe again. So I, so possible. I change my idea. Takes, takes, knight g5. What do you play? No, no, no. E4 I, again. Um, Is it possible? Probably. But now here I take. No, no, I don't want to play E5. My no, idea is to play uh, yes. on the B line. This looks still so, this not, still so looks not so clear. Queen F6. Yes. And good for black. Well, anyway, this is a very complicated line. Let's see what. But I like black's position. Yes, but. His pawn structure is not compact. So clear. I'm not so sure about this position. Maybe actually white will play maybe at some point not takes on g3 but as you said knight e7, e7 check because on this in this case Queen you will e7. not have the c6 pawn and you will not have a strong uh, center pawns and the bishop will not be opened by a6 and now, the if you take on e7 good. for example H. but now of course this line uh, i will take d and queen d5 E5 is not so simple. Ah, yes, this is not so. Uh, this is not possible actually. The so maybe knight e7 is a better idea. Well, what do you think? He is maybe still thinking about it. Am I right? He didn't he make a move. He is th still thinking. Okay, we'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Uh, Let's go to this uh, on the fourth board. Garifuina with white as Russian and Halil Nizayov. Yes, with the Russian white. woman candidate master. <coughs> uh, Leia Garifulina with mm -hmm. 2330, very good elo, uh, versus Vepali Halil Yazov. Vepali Halil Yazov, Garifulina. Okay. This is, you know, a bishop b5 Sicilian or so. Seems to me. Bishop b4 is Sicilian. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's pawn structure because black tries to have some support. Oh, no. oh, this is the topic of the Carta versus Caruana. Huh. Yes, you know, they play with the bishop b5 all the time. Is the same position? No, but uh, the bishop uh, b5 yeah. Sicilian must H4 came into the line. Black, yeah. black, black actually misplayed someone. Yes, black played e6 or so. Yes. Many obvious moves. Lina, D c4. DC4 actually looks very good for white. White is playing a model game, you know? Yeah. I really liked the way that white handled the position. H4 was a really classy move. Yeah. Uh, so, um, there are lots of troubles. The first of all is, uh, after BC, there is knight G5 and queen E2, queen C4. The second one is, there is always, always rook to h2 and rook, you can double the rooks and sack over h7 whenever you yes, want. Yes, also uh, this, I don't know, this position, you know, can you, you, if you look at the position, you know, it seems the pawns are weakened if it takes on c4, all these pawns Nine are G5. very weak. Nine the G5. bishop is totally out of the game and there is an open h line uh, which will be very bad in, in the future for black because white will attack on the h line and also the d line. It's totally in wise control. Um, this position looks like a lost position. It's for over, black. I guess. Yes. Okay, so we go um, to. Before going uh, um, to the other boards, our uh, Reggie says that uh, we, have a sh we may have a short But let's break. check mm -hmm. quickly the Turkish red, Turkish, yes. Turkish red team. Before going to. Uh, Turkey red team uh, against Montenegro on the fourth board, they are playing. 
so let's uh, have a quick look at this okay. uh, match between Montenegro versus Turkey Red. On the first board, Turkey Red, Tuna Onat Nalband is playing an international master from yes, Turkey. Luke Miletic. Yes, Nalband versus uh, Miletic, uh, who is uh, 21.05. Let's go to this position. Let's uh, white probably is still okay. Pulled over that. So this is the Grunfeld in, invitation. Yeah, so it's white's now, best side is to play h4 instead of rook b1. You know. Ah uh, yes, rook b1 maybe not so good. Knight c6. Still h4. Knight f3. Castles. Still yes. h4. You always recommend h4, yes. Because you know this is the line Dingler and played all the time, uh -huh. and black has no pieces in the king side. That's mm. why I recommend h4. White has a you know a majority on the king side. Yes. Well, actually, Tuna Onat Nalbant he played this line knight a a5. I don't, I'm not so sure about this. That's Usually, cool. with this kind of uh, in this kind of positions before bishop b2, of course. E5 you should consider, you know. Of course, because D4 square you D4 need to control. D4 is weak, weakened, and now I want to play at some moment knight D4 also. And, but now after exchanging these bishops, the black squares uh, are weakened. So uh, maybe this is what white wants. As I understood, why to not play such a line is to play C5. You know, the knight A5 at this point was to play C5, but I but don't still know. black can play you on c5 now. White should play c5, I, I think. Uh -huh. This is the point. So bc5 is too risky because queen a4, c6, mm -hmm. and you know, <laughs> you. c5 is possible also, why not queen c2? What's, I don't see Black will play c5. I don't see anything with d3 and then maybe and this I'll is kind of equal. Yes, this knight actually looks out of the game. And yeah, maybe c5 is still good, but d3 I'm not so sure about knight c6 d3, d3 knight, knight c6, c6. Yeah, right. maybe this is the queen c3 f6 so, this is equal yeah, equal but c5 actually, of, actually uh, is also interesting maybe queen d5 maybe nothing uh, no no it's, it means something because you know uh, you have always chances to um, double your pieces on the c line and mm -hmm. In a proper moment, you may take over b6 and play queen c7. Mm -hmm. So what, the point of the c5 move is it creates space for the white pieces to double themselves on the c files and uh, to push to other pawns with d4 or so. But after exchange on b6, you are also weakening the a2 pawn, you know, because okay. this line will be opened. And then uh, I'm, I'm thinking about black the right time attack. because uh -huh. uh, black has no That's chance easy. to take over c5. So we are feel free to play c5. Well, I'm not so sure about this. Uh, it's like it's like uh, I have to consider uh, deeply the C5 move. Yes. Okay. So we go to second board quickly. On the second board of Turkey, NS Tanrı verdi Fide Master, but with a strong elo 2401. The same actually they do have the same elo. The first board and second board of Turkey 2401. Uh, against playing Marko Vukovic. Marko Vukovic with 20-54 elo from Montenegro. A typical Sicilian. Yes, Tanrı verdi Vukovic. Schweningen one. Uh, yes, this Schweningen actually. Let's say this Schweningen re, uh, actually uh, reborn. Born, reborn. Uh, from the Kasparov era, you know, Kasparov yeah. has a famous book about Schweningen, but no one wants to play it. Anymore. Reborn also this system for white because usually I start to see many games with white castling short and this queen this attack queen e1 queen g3 is actually pretty strong you yes be, you know because black cannot play e5 there is always take take queen g3 yes and the pin is really annoying so white is playing really you know and naturally enough rook e3 I don't know knight h5 knight h5 has been played black always plays such sort of moves now but you know queen h3 thinking. but you know this is ineffective because queen h3 <clears throat> and my idea is to push e5 yeah why not take on here my sorry f4? Uh, you may play e5. e5 is it possible let's see actually looks like it's possible I thought it was no no. Uh, how about wait? How about rook h4? 
Pode ser isso que é Maybe Queen H3 simply. Yes. <laughs> um, my idea was uh, like uh, instead uh, of Queen H3, Bishop H4, maybe. But probably he's thinking of this because otherwise Queen H3 is an obvious move. So because Queen G4 first. You are threatening E5. Okay, Queen G4 first, but there's E5 against Queen G4. Against everything actually, there is also Knight F4. Why not Queen Knight F4 now? I don't understand. Maybe there is. Ah, sorry, mate. sorry, mate is possible. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, e5? This, maybe e5, you're right. Queen h5, but this is not, this is not so good. Queen, Queen h5, h5 e5. e5. Maybe e5 first. Or e5. e5, g6 maybe. Oh, rook h3, okay. Rook h3 first. h6. h6 first. Uh, knight e2. Knight e2, looks like. Symbolize going knight d4, knight f5. The white is, of course, much better here. So, so after queen g4, g4, probably knight f6 is uh, forced. But again, now, again back. Now queen h3. Now queen h3, yes. Probably this is the move. Because now, but now maybe e5 not possible? Um, is it possible? Fe, or Fe simply. Ah, no, if he is, yes, you're right, maybe it's not something. Fe. Now my threat is to play bishop f6 and e5. Maybe direct e5 is also working, but you know, h6 is also weakening too much because uh, rook g3 and queen a6, everything is goes on. White can throw yeah. any pieces he wants. Yeah, queen g4. Queen g4 is probably. What to play with black? g6. But after g6, now f5 is coming. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait, queen h5. Queen h5 is just winning. Queen h5. Oh, yes! Queen <laughs> h5, very nice idea. Actually, maybe e5 forced. Oh, let's check. f takes e. Is this possible? Yes. Sure. I think I think it's gladly because rook g3. Oh, queen g4. Queen g4, no, this is not possible. Huh? <laughs> wait. So probably this is not working. Wait, wait, wait. After e5? No, no, no. We have simply queen h6. If it, it takes e d4, then rook h3. Hmm. Probably queen h5 is the idea. Mm -hmm. if, uh, after g6. So this is possible, huh? And it needs to play queen g4. So queen g4, knight f6 must be the only move. And knight queen h3 now. Queen I remember a very similar game of NS against Natalia Buxa in Lviv. Uh, we went to the same tournament. Mm -hmm. He played in the closed I, uh, GM section and I played in the IM section. And uh, Natalia Buxa was white and NS was black. They had uh, reached this uh, very similar position in which Natalia Buxa had a, such a formation. You know, uh, he may borrow this idea from her. I don't know. Yeah, should be. Yeah, I see. Actually, it's I now, saw a really similar. Now game the threat is e5, and how to deal with this threat? I don't know because uh, g6 and all these moves are weakening the king side of black. So uh, maybe e5 sacrificing a pawn must be the best solution. You sacrifice a pawn, but you have some compensation. Looks like. Oh, uh, maybe it was like. You know, uh, e5, I'm calculating, recalculating again, e5, fe5, fe5, queen h3, and you need to play g h3, maybe. I don't know. Yes, but still uh, some compensation for black. So my idea is to play rook g3 and some attacks on the g line. No, yeah, but still uh, I have compensation here, you know, e4 is the weakened. Uh, Regular the, one. These pawns are weakened, so uh, I don't see... Uh, too much problem for black. Maybe e5 is the only uh, option, way, uh, the, the only uh, option to save the game, uh, because I'd, otherwise uh, black will be mated. Okay, let's go to the board three. Board three of Montenegro is Savo Vujovic against Akın Kızılkuş with a Fide Master from Turkey 2381. Uh, let's see this game. Really Vyovic Kuzulkuş. Vyovic is attacking on the king side. king side and Black is attacking on the queen side. Okay, this is an interesting game. Both the modern sides. fans. 
Modern oh. defense, a6, queen, d7, b6. I like this formation for white. Actually, castling is short, usually considered to, to be very dangerous. Dubious, let's yeah, say. Yeah, very dangerous and also dubious. And uh, h4, a classical way of attacking this actually king side. Knight to why, why, wait, what? Knight e2. Actually. Why not to play d5? You know, as Steinitz said, you need to close the center to attack. On the flanks, d5 is the most simple d5. move. d5, yes, probably it's possible. d5. You just continue to, to your attack. Yes. Maybe, without castling. Maybe it's White doesn't need to castle. You know, yes, d5 is yes. just a, such a strong move. I agree. Okay, knight c2, knight c6. Okay. Here also d5 was possible. Mm -hmm. White didn't want to play. I don't know why. And now h after h5, bishop takes e6. This is a also a stra decision. very strange, actually, uh, decision. CD. By black. CD. He's, he's CD. not get mated. I understood CD. why black is such a. And G4. <laughs> playing such a decision. There's nothing happening. Maybe E5. I've got a G4. Mm. Rook F7 is okay. I think black played it really, you know, <laughs> courageous. I cannot call it as a well played game. By both colors, but it's a courageous game. Well, I, actually, I prefer white. After c3. It seems so. Maybe not before, but still. What do you think? I'm calculating the bishop g4 ideas, but, you know. Bishop g4? It's not going to nowhere. I'm, I'm calculating like bishop g4, f g4, knight g4, queen h4, but... No, it is pointless. Yeah, after knight e3, well, h7 is on pre. It doesn't look like a good move. Appealing, but you know, uh, I'm really wondering about if black has any better options because white is threatening with cd4 and d5 and so on. You know, the opening blind. Yes, no, I'm threatening, of course, cd4. cd4? Yes, this is the threat. Black is thinking now. What to do? Actually, is uh, uh, 15 minutes behind. This kind of opening, you know, when you play this modern line, if you play g6, bishop g7 lines, you shouldn't allow uh, your opponent to open the h line Such and to exchange manner. your bishop on g7. And this is actually looks like a very dubious line. You know, as Fischer said against the Fianchetta systems, uh, put your bishop over h6 for white. Mm -hmm. Queen d2, bishop h6, and sack, sack, and mate. You know, yeah. see, so sacrifice, make yeah. another sacrifice, and mate. Why is it just plain that simple? Yes. Actually, the the moves are, you know, uh, so simple for, for white. You just, you know, give him the chance to make all these, you know, uh, easy moves. Like, in a way. White has nothing to think. Yes. The Look, point C3, is. C3, probably the only option. I open the D line. I want to exchange on d4. If you take, I'll come to the knight on c3, attacking d6 pawn, and knight d5 is an option because h7 is hanging. All these lines, you know, it's so easy for white to play. But if you look at from the black side, it's this position actually uh, is very difficult Maybe to play. Maybe black needs to try queen a4. You know, I, I see that after... Trying to complicate the matter. Yes, huh? if, if white takes cd4, there's Queen a4, okay. queen a4 maybe b3, okay, let's say b3. Okay, queen a3. Queen a3, let's take, and then knight b4, knight b4. yes. Knight maybe b4. knight c3 or knight c1. Knight c1, knight c3, and rook c8. Knight c1. And now you found a good, a good idea. Yes. Rook c8, after rook c8. Okay, queen so a4 maybe queen, after bishop h3, queen a4, I thought. Maybe bishop h3, as you said, because but I don't know, want to weaken this. There is always ideas of uh, play rook c8. If cd, then ed. I'm holding everything. If cd? Then ed. No, no, no. It also knight b4. Ah, yes, point. because you cannot play knight with no knight. Wow. Queen a4. <laughs> So maybe is the, is the, is the, is the only queen idea. Queen is a good idea. Probably is the only idea. You found a good idea, actually. Queen a4. Can I play queen against queen a4 and rook d2, let's say. Rook okay. d2. Rook c8? A simple move. Rook c8, I cannot take, huh? Maybe bishop h3 or 
Bishop G2. Why I cannot take? Because I play knight before. Or so. A3. No, you don't attack anything. Wait, what? Knight C2 maybe. No, no, knight D3 is also possible. Oh, knight C2 is a good one. Knight A3 idea. Wow, nice. nice. How about knight d4? Might not, this time it doesn't look... Maybe Queen a4. If I take here, why we made it? Knight a3 check. Knight a3. Takes queen queen b3. Three. Queen d1. And then bishop e6. No, bishop e6 is not possible. Knight was on g5. Ah, yes, you right. Oh, I have no checks, but... But... Rook C, oh no, Rook C1 is not possible either. Ah. D5. No, I'm a piece back. I'm a piece behind. I need, I desperately need the <laughs> Rook on G7. <laughs> <Good idea. laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, maybe you still have some chances. Maybe, uh, you know, instead of complicating with Knight to B4, I simply take with E D4. Because you cannot take over D4. Let's see ED4. if we can find this queen a4, huh? Mm -hmm. ED4 also is possible. Is queen a4, but it's a very good move. Okay, let's go to the fourth board of uh, Montenegro. Mateja Popovic. Actually, Mateja Popovic uh, looks like a very weak player because of 15-35 elo. Why there's so much difference between the first three boards? All of them are uh, above 20,000, 20, but this time Popovic is 500 elo less than all these players. Is she is it, uh, she's a woman player, yes? I don't Matea, know, Matea is a male name a in Yugoslavia. Girl player, okay, yeah, Matea. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Male name also? Mm -hmm. But from, from the okay, camera we can see that uh, she's a girl, so... That's why I'm checking the list against yes. Devna Sade. Mateja Popovic. Mateja, are you sure? The I know, as I remember. Man. As I remember, maybe, maybe a unisex. Mateja, actually, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe unisex. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know better than I do. Probably. Mm -hmm. Okay, this looks like a Petrov defense. With this uh, nice very, very popular This is the line. best line, you know. With bit, very bishop, bishop G4 interesting. Bishop G4, Bishop uh, Queen D2. Why Bishop G4? You know. cannot take the Bishop yeah. pair. Knight G5, the Bishop pair now. Ah, uh, Defne played well. Defne has a A2 cannot be taken. Simply there is B3. Oh uh, yes. So, uh, you know. The only idea remaining for white is to play b3 and c4. Mm -hmm. If white can also put a pawn on c4, the position is positionally gone. Yes. So it looks like a, uh, white has a pair of bishops and uh, position. positional advantage. I think uh, there is a, uh, a special no counterplay visible for black. You know? Yes. You have a passive Black, position, you can, cannot push d5. You can try to play knight e5 and knight c4 and then try to attack on the queen side with queen a4, maybe. In the future, this is an idea to play. But here, maybe bishop knight e5, bishop e5, rook takes e5. No, no, it's not possible. Why do we uh, need to take over e5? We simply play bishop okay. e4. Let's say knight e5, okay. Or bishop, bishop d4, d4 you mean. bishop d5 bishop d5 is better bishop d5 you want to exchange the bishops i don't want mm. to exchange okay bishop b2 let's say but here of course bishop c2 is it possible bishop c4 is it possible if bishop e5 bishop e2 bishop f6 maybe you are winning a pawn here with it white maybe, but so this bishop c4 is not possible can I play a queen a4 here? Yes. A3. And a3 is the only move probably. And now maybe bishop c4 is possible. Because I want to exchange you are holding, you are yeah. holding the bishop. Yeah, I want to exchange this uh, pair of bishops with my bishop. So maybe I can try to equalize the position. Uh, this is maybe a way of playing. What do you think? Probably so. Because Looks like uh, strange, but... 
this is general for the most of the yes. petrol positions. Yeah, yeah. There are many, many paths for both colors to equalize. You yeah. Know? Okay, so Defne Sade actually is uh, has a positional advantage, and Black played actually Knight E5, the obvious Knight E5 move. And now we go to a short break, and uh, after the short break, we will check other uh, matches, spe especially rain. the match between. Ukraine and Iceland and Uzbekistan, the last year's uh, world champion, uh, the fir on the first board, Nodirbek Abdusattarov with 2600 Grandmaster. Actually, there are two Grandmasters in this uh, Olympiad and two of them are playing in the Uzbekistan team. Uh, but uh, actually, a very interesting, uh, how, how do you say, uh, classification of this uh, team is that on the third board, uh, Muhittin Madaminov with 2045. They have 500 euro difference between first two boards. And on the second, uh, on the fourth board, uh, Umida Omonova, Woman Fide Master 2078. And uh, this year, Uzbekistan team has been weakened a little bit. Probably Yakubayev has just crossed the 16 age. Ah, this is also this possible. Is yes. Explanation. Uh -huh. So they are playing against uh, Macedonia. Uh, we will check this game, these matches after, after the, the short break. Trying to get chess to all to all the people that say South Africa, as much as you think you're sort of a small country, it's geographically within, it's difficult to get around. So we've also got to try and make sure we try and get chess, the accessibility of it to everyone, which is I think what we are currently doing as a structure as South African chess? So, uh, you know, there are two ways of developing the chess. One is uh, just raising the grandmasters as China mm -hmm. done, and the second is just uh, make the chess was the popular. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you have any recent projects to, uh, you know, raising the title players? Uh, in terms of raising the title players, I think we, we look at most, we, we focus a, bit, a little bit more on juniors in terms of playing internationally because I think there the opportunity is a little bit more better for our, yeah, for our players to get titles and then obviously want to buy into the game and then be involved in the game. In terms of the, the older players, the ones that go to the World Olympics, those sort of things, we're trying to obviously create open tournaments in South Africa that are strong, where we also attract grandmasters to come down. I know we have a few tournaments, I think our marquee tournament, the South African Open, we get about two grandmasters to come and play in it. So that's, I think, from those point of views, is trying So what was the tor tournament's name? Uh, we have the South African Open, we have the Capablanca, which is a round robin tournament. Uh, I think, and then the one we had was a, a local tournament, as a provincial tournament. Uh, we had a grandmaster play there as well. So we obviously are trying to uplift, but it is, given our situation where we are at the bottom of the globe, it's difficult to try and get grandmasters from Europe to come down. If you know, cost is always going to be a thing when it comes to this. So it's nice when you sit in North Africa, when you sit in Europe, because you can just create a circuit of tournaments to play in. So There's also geographical connections, but yeah. the, uh, there is the you know uh, airline way. That is right. Well. But for us, like I said, we're trying to do as much as we can within South Africa because we understand that cost is a pro is a factor for a lot of players. We have a lot of young potential, uh, young individuals that have a lot of potential, but trying to get them out to these sort of events, it's a, it's a costly thing. But those that actually do come, for it, we always encourage them to make the most of the event. For this example, the players that are playing here. So, uh, as I know, South Africa, despite the, the geographical um, location, part of the curriculum where it's part of your daily lesson. So it's not a full-blown thing as in, the, as in it's part of the curriculum. It's more optional, if I can put it that way, which is something you're trying to go forward with and getting it more into schools. Do people choose chess or do they choose another sports? Mm. This is France. We are back again. Uh, we, in, in order to... Uh, fix the situation. We had some poor connection uh, because of the uh, problem of the internet connection of the server. Uh, we had a short break. At, actually, it was a long short break. Uh, so we apologize for this delay. Now we go uh, immediately to the match of Ukraine versus Iceland. Uh, and on the first board, Platon Garpin, an international master from Ukraine with 2469 is playing against a Fide Master from Iceland, Vignir Vatnar Stefansson 2327 Elo. 
and the position is this let's see from the beginning this position with this which opening it's actually. probably another catalan with e6 b6 or yes d5 uh, okay okay bishop seven. g7 so, actually this is a new way of playing catalan without uh, actually knight c3 with knight c3 usually, you usually play without knight yes. c3 yes this is actually a new way of playing usually this is not a classical oh, time i like type this position piece. you know i have really good results with as white oh why, why knight e4 you know the position is just really bad for no, losing, black losing my pawn huh? uh, not right now not now but you know the only uh, <clears throat> the only player is white to force the position so it is Getting quite, you know, desperate for actually black, but black may try at queen b4 and queen e1 or started to you see, he he defended well actually until now. Black, it was a bad position for black, still bad, but uh, he is holding. So white snakes, I used to play, uh, you know, uh, king h2 and rook c2. After you just get the rook out of the c5, uh, mean the g1 a7 diagonal, a7 is weak. What about queen c3 now, for example? Queen c3, if I exchange this rook Why queen, you exchange? active queen, because queen e1 was the threat, you know? So black shouldn't exchange, I guess. Queen a3 queen or queen h3, b6 queen a3 maybe. A queen a3, rook a5, no, rook queen maybe a7. Queen b3. Queen b6. Queen b6. Like, let's call it. But now, did they play some moves, probably? Uh, I'm checking, but I can't see. Queen c3. So it's white move. Okay, so probably queen c3 uh, will be played. Let's see after queen c3, queen b6, what to do? a4 and b4. No, a4, rook b8. a4 is a terrible move. <laughs> no. Um, what to do? Maybe you have to activate the bishop, eh? bishop f1, e3. First e3, let's somewhere, say. I don't let's know say first e3. This idea actually attacking the pawn didn't work well. First e3, yeah? First e3. So I'm waiting. Yeah, because you know. I want to activate this bishop. You know, this. Uh, yeah, okay, you, e4 pawn is weak, uh, but still. You cannot oh, attack. The idea is to play bishop f1, rook a5, rook a6. Yeah, then, you improve then, a little then bit. What? And then a4, then b4, queen, queen, a5, c5. queen a5, and then attack mm -hmm. a7. I will protect again with rook d7. And then b4, b5, maybe some. Uh, yeah, this is actually forcing. Yeah, some. Also, yeah, you're right. Is probably this is a good idea. Rook a5, rook a6, and then maybe queen a5. Oh, and queen d7 is holding yes. and you know uh, this bishop is uh, like a pawn here but still holding the position it is not a big it's a giant pawn because yeah, you know giant pawn. <laughs> exactly. yeah, after after black plays queen b8 mm -hmm. against rook a6 e5 is also weak yes you cannot do whatever you like because yeah. e5 is on pre so yes. this position is uh, probably on balance yeah. It seems to be better for white, but actually there is no direct way to prove that white is really better. Yes. Okay, so we move to second board, Larkin Vladislav, Fide Master from Versus Ukraine. Stefan Brim. 24.05 against Stefan Brim from Iceland, 21.99 ELO. So let's go to this match. Okay, this yes. is the game. Oh, C6 okay. square is real big. The first yes, thing let's go see. to the beginning of the game. We should be for the Indian defense. E3. So I know, early, uh, instead of this rook e8 idea, uh, Rustam Kasim, Jonathan, and the others have been popularized the uh, other move, b6 over there, namely the Rubinstein variation. Uh, I want to show you some line, knight g to e2. And c5. The idea is to play after a3, bishop a5. Mm -hmm. Now this is rook b1, knight e6. 
this this was the first uh, way to handle the position as black there are too many you know tactical things bishop b7 d5 queen e7 such stuff like that and the way uh, black played in the game rook e8 is the solid way but this is you know a more fun way to play mm -hmm. just have a small note about yes it. okay check the rest so, of Kasim Jano's uh, game in the actual game uh, well, play Black e Castle and Rook E8. This is also probably the bishop the, F8 still the theory. Mm -hmm. Bishop F8. And Classic. C3. There are two ways. Actually, D5 is first and C5 is the second. So okay. this is Take the first space, way. Bishop B2, C5. This is also has been played. Takes this. B4. Okay. Logical. Castles. This is the, you know dual way to play the position this is kind of equal not bad for black but equal Six. but now why this kind of slightly better queen b4 c6 is weak knight cannot jump anywhere else out of a5 and also you know uh, white also needs some time to play rook f to d1 bishop f3 knight e2 knight f4 mm -hmm to get some pressure over the d5 board. What happened board. there? Uh, there is a game. Shape, some hands. Why can we go back to the first port? Draw or not? Draw or what happened? We thought that it uh, may be a draw. Probably a draw. Okay, draw. this is... And Naturally. In a draw, the first port of Ukraine, uh, Iceland, so Galperin Platon versus Wigner Watner Stefansson, they made draw. So we are looking at the second board of Ukraine, Iceland. Radislav Larkin with uh, black pieces is playing against uh, Stefan Brim from Iceland. So this position actually looks like it's slightly better for white. Yes. Uh, but still, white has a lot of to do because uh, black also says many squares on C5, C4. Uh, many squares. Uh, white has D4 square. If, if for example, bishop f3, maybe in the future knight e2, knight e4 is possible. If, nice if the knight gets there, and then probably white will have a good position. But of course, uh, white has a lot of things to do, and black probably will hold this position. It's not so probably, uh, not so bad, black, I say. Black is probably not winning this game. I think. At yeah, least it's not, difficult it's for probably. black actually. See, black has to be very careful. Okay, we go to the third board. On the third board of Ukraine, uh, a girl player, a woman player Maria is Bernick. playing. Uh, Maria Bertnik with 23-49, actually very strong player from uh, Ukraine. Uh, is playing against uh, Alexander Oliver Mai. And uh, let's go to this game if we can yes, this find is, this is the game. Bertnik Maria. This is the game. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the position. Also very interesting. Let's see how it happens. Okay, G3, G. This is a symmetrical position, but then it transposes to D3, D3. So English D4. opening. Without D4, or it B1. becomes an English opening. With D4, it becomes a King's Indian with G3 line. But now it's a English opening, let's say. Okay, this is the main line. So, uh, black Bishop G4. E4, why E4? You know. I don't understand that type of moves. E4? Slash E4, yes. Why? You just play knight F to D2 or bishop G5 to prevent E4 if you want it so badly. But it's you just some, restrict your Sometimes ambition. white plays E4, but I don't know if in this line or not. You restrict your own uh, bishop yes. and weak on the D4 why? For no obvious reasons. Yeah. I know, black is true, doing okay. Still. Black is doing F5. okay. Now, of course, black has to be uh, careful. careful and quick because white is attacking on the king side and this attack uh, is very dangerous for black. Now black also attacks white. Now f6 and knight takes d4. Okay, so queen takes d3. Black actually blundered the pawn. And c6. c6. And now uh, the question is: Has black enough compensation here? 
this is the question after knight c5 let's say knight c5 why knight c5 I want to attack the e4 pawn and this knight maybe maybe not good. Knight is strong because you know uh, after so af after we can uh, harass. What do you want to play with? Rook a to c8 and rook b8 and b2 is weak. Rook a, a to c8. Yes. Okay. A to okay. C8. Maybe this is a good idea. Let's say rook a to c8. What to do now? I want to play rook to c2 also. Rook if if the I. opportunity has been arisen, so probably knight d4, probably knight d4. Knight d4. Rook b8, and you play b4. Against knight d4, also maybe d5 is ah, a better move. move. Yes. What do you think? Because now bishop c5 move. is the threat, and after bishop c5, white cannot protect this knight on d4. Yes. So probably this is a good idea. What Erkin told us: knight a oh, to c8, c8, attacking the knight. Mm -hmm. Knight has to find a good. Place where knight a5 actually knight a5 and d5 knight a5 again or then after knight a5 rook c5 maybe or rook c2 rook c5 is better and rook c5 probably rook c5 rook c5 because c5. because for white there are no obvious places rook c5 to hide it also on. possible knight if knight here rook b5 maybe and then oh, the b2 e5, pawn is now. e5 should be necessary and it is after d5 knight so this is probably a uh, good Not position. So, so this is uh, black has looks like enough compensation. Uh, they play some. After rook a to c8, uh, he played rook a to c8 and Maria played rook f to d1 and knight f4. Can you take ah, one? Yes. Why she didn't want to take on b2? B2. I don't understand why. Ah, maybe in the end e5. This is the reason why. Knight b2, let's say. Rook b2. Rook takes c6. E5. E5. Rook a6. Let's Bishop f1. Bishop f1. Wow. Bishop f1. Good uh, tactical this side. The, this is the reason why. Because rook c6, c6 bishop f1 is hanging. But so this is the reason why. Uh, Knight f4 is Mari a good move. Maria Alexander Oliver, my Alexander Oliver, played knight uh, f4 with black pieces. Didn't want to take on b2, and she, he played knight f4. Good move. Knight g2, yes, rook e4, also c6 is hanging. Everything is hanging. What is hanging? Uh, e4 c6 is hanging. and e4. Yes. yes, yes. Now how to protect e4? Probably rook c1. c1. Oh no no knight e2. Uh, maybe knight no, b4 no. is a good move here because you now I want to Thank control you. this. C2 Take. square and D5 square. Now, maybe this is still good for rook D, white. No. Rook D2 or Rook D3. I don't know. Maybe this is a good position still. Uh, H6? No, it's, it's, it's changing. Oh, maybe not so sure. Not so sure. Yes, H6 is a good one. Maybe Rook D2 is not a good idea. Maybe Rook King F3, but then. Rook somewhere. Rook e5, h4, h6, king f4, oh, yeah. start of it. Rook c5. Yeah, maybe h6 after h6, black still equalizes. This is not a, uh, such a big deal. Okay, maybe we move to another board. Uh, Short board. The last board of this match, Ukraine versus Iceland, is Julian Malovaniev. Versus Master, Benedict Bream. 2350. This time, another Bream. Maybe they are brothers. brothers. Yeah, Benedict Bream uh, from Iceland. Let's see this uh, mm, game. Benedict Bream versus uh, Julian Malovani. Another Benoni? But wait, uh, Benoni. it's not that bad. Okay. This time from King's Indian probably it transposes. The C5 you yes, mentioned, yes, you know, about yes. the late A6. Yes. Now but I don't like white setup. You know? Yeah, this is actually. Usually a, instead of A6, uh, as far as I know, Bishop, this F5. Bishop F5 is a good move because after knight e 4 Black equalizes very actually comfortably. You know uh, that's why I uh, wanted to recommend for white instead of bishop e2, bishop d3. That's why you play bishop d3. Uh, yes, but uh, of course it's a different. Yeah, right. I don't like this bishop, but now 
H3 not group bishop E8, now bishop D3 mm -hmm. in this position. This is starting from this line. So you have no I mean, idea that it will transpose you, to a Benoni. Yes, but you so, may So maybe you want to play mm -hmm. Averba or maybe you want to play the classical uh, King's Indian uh, attack. So this is the reason why he plays bishop e2. So if you, you play bishop d3, it's another, of course, line. So you prepare h3, you know, the macagon of line. Yeah, but this is of, <laughs> uh, to, uh, changes everything. Mm -hmm. So this is, of course, you cannot blame white yes. for playing this. But this position, in this position, after knight c7, you can see that the, the, the position is transposes to a Benoni a type of position. And then you can divert the position from the King's Indian type of position to a Benoni type of position. Now, Bishop In order to divert this, you have to see the places of the pieces. You have to change the places of the pieces so that uh, you, have, you will have a good position. You will have a better position in this line. So uh, from your words, so for I example, now, now Bishop, Bishop D3. D3 is possible yes. in this line. Uh, you, you, because you see that now you cannot control E4 square. Uh, after bishop f5, e4 square is now controlled by black very easily. But of course, black plays a6, a4, and then it's not interesting in to control <laughs> e4 square. So he, he, black gives you the chance to play bishop d3 now. You know, uh, it is specifically important for uh, black to play knight e4 because by exchanging the knight on c3, you just open the diagonal of the bishop on g7 to b2 uh -huh. and even after bishop f5 knight e4 the effectivity of b5 is increased because yeah. when you have a rook over b5 you also threaten the b2 pawn sure sure there yes. is no knight on c3 so b5 anyway has been played and uh, sacrificing a pawn uh, it was a temporary but one doesn't look like a, there is no way to okay, keep the so pawn she, you cannot keep the pawn huh? this and maybe this is temporary me. sacrifice Nice one. Bishop takes b7. Takes five, five, five, rook b5, knight f5. Knight g5. Mm. Very interesting. What, what's, what's Good the move. What about f7. rook f8, for example? Rook f8. Okay, rook f8. We actually play. played. Well, I don't see any problem with black now because b2 pawn is very weak. d5 is weak. Uh, queen b6 might be the second, I mean, the move now. And actually, black looks much better here as far as I can say uh, this is probably not played very well by white by white white is bream benedict but here as we can we're, uh, we're saying I mean in this position instead of rook e1 waiting move this kind of move a5 bishop d3 a5 all these moves were much better probably a5 because after ab you know, and bishop d3 there's still b5 yeah that's why i recommend a5 because but bishop d3 a5 but let's say let's see this is the same position i can with, protect maybe without no? how queen e2 you, you are queen thinking of? first take on with the okay, knight b5 takes takes take with the knight and well, no no no no it doesn't work D5 is D5 is So this is bishop D3 is too late now. So uh, after A4, A4 is a good move. A4, rook B8, and A5. Because yes. you know, typically, typically you yes, play A5, A5 because after the B5, let's say, A5. B5, B5, en passant, and rook B6, rook A2, simply. You or maybe you don't need to play now ah, bishop D3. Okay, this is also also a valid mm -hmm. one. Now you will play rook, rook anytime you when you attack. I don't need to play now. White is slightly and better. This knight is now is out of the game and needs to go to a6, b4 after a5. But a5, of course, not possible because it's angry. And clearly, white is a better uh, game Prospects. after a5. So uh, your move is good move, a5. Uh, when you uh, try to uh, analyze the position, uh, you make a plan and in order to prevent your opponent's plan, you have to calculate all the lines and you have to see that your opponent uh, cannot play a b5 and also you get a better pawn formation, better piece formation, better uh, position uh, much easily. But after b5, which is very obvious, 
actually the calculation is uh, not made based upon the move my move calculation it's like you know there are yes, mechanics you, planning, yeah. you say that i will play a5 whenever possible exactly and you calculate accordingly there are some little mechanics exactly bishop takes knight takes and then afterwards this position uh, which was Rook planned probably when rook a7 has been played uh, actually is paired, uh, paired with a simple rook f8 this uh, threat on f7 well i don't see the follow-up of this uh, knight g5 do you see no because anything? you know uh, simply black will play um, Queen B8. <laughs> yes, I don't see the uh, Queen B8 okay. is obvious, you know, Rook A2 and now H6 and Knight E4 and B2 is gone and yes. you cannot okay. even take H6. So maybe we go to, uh, what do you say, to check the, the Champions game, the last year's Champions okay. game, Uzbekistan. Actually, maybe we don't have the camera on that board because we have five cameras on the first five uh, matches, but maybe smile we can see the, the sixth board in because the champions are playing on the sixth mm -hmm. board uh, versus Macedonia on the first board Abdul Sattar of uh, by the way Uzbekistan is now leading by one to zero and on the second board uh, Javahir Sindarov won against Yordanov um, Yordanov was Mihai Yordanov and on the first board Abdul Sattarov versus Ristaski but I cannot play in this game I don't know why it does not happen. What's wrong with this? Can you get the game? I don't see. Isn't it multi-board, am I? So I guess. Okay, Abdus Adura, okay, here. Okay. Risteski, yes? Oh, another night of <laughs> the carp of where you know, Vishal F3. Abdus Adura, okay. Mm -hmm. We have the game here. Black has uh, actually a good position, but let's see how it happened. E4, C5, the we should be 5 check. Oh, Late, seven. very popular, actually. I like this line. A6, there is, you know, instead of bishop d7, queen d7. Bishop takes ah, d7. Say here queen d7. For black, queen yeah, d7. Yeah, okay. After Interesting. Move. Decided to play. Bishop takes d7. Rooks and eight. then knight c3, e5. Ah, typical. You know, h6 is done for uh, to prevent bishop g5. Yes, this is actually a very mm -hmm. uh, typical move. Typical move in order to control d5 square. You take the You want on to f6. take on in the knight on f6. So. Black, of course, doesn't want this idea. Knight d2, the happen. idea of this is knight f1, knight e3, and knight d5. Yes, this Important is what actually maneuver. white does now. And now after rook d1... But he lost too five. much time. D2, this can't be... Oh, good move. Bishop, Bishop a5. a5. Nice move. Exchanging everything. If uh, white is condemned to take over d5 with the pawn, then black's position is way better. White actually is doing nothing. You know, uh, in the position, uh, the moment that white lost his uh, edge is to, when to, he's playing knight d5 because uh, you need to take with a piece rather than a pawn on d5 to get to open the d-line and uh, press to the d6 yes, pawn. Sure, sure. And when you have the pawn on d5, all the triumphs has gone to the black's hands because black plays f5, e5, and there is no weaknesses on d6 to call on. Exactly. So this uh, idea, of course, uh, of playing with this, for the square of d5 doesn't work now because uh, white couldn't manage to, uh, to uh, control d5 square with a piece. Uh, so it, uh, now white uh, is uh, trying to defend the position with some waiting moves. Rook c8, green white, black actually uh, planning to attack on the probably queen side with, on the c line, and activating his rooks with doubling on the C line. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe in, in some point uh, you can try to attack on D5 with Rook C5 and after C4, B5 or such kind of maybe chances you try to find. You know, um, just basically sp speaking on the very pawn structure, White's actually aim is to play on clean side. 
um, due to the pawn majority on the queen side, white will play on the queen side and the black will play on the king side. But this position is just a rather an exception because uh, black has too many pieces on the queen side. But I still recommend for black to play for f5, like with knight e4, yes, queen g5, yeah, f5. Very, very because logical. when you play on the queen side, everything comes to at a dead end after white plays c4. Yes, All the play is gone. Very logical, but the problem with black is that. Uh, on the rook on a3 bothers him, you know, this uh, rook on a3 uh, on and also the side queen on f4, lifting. the queen is not so, you know, it's shaky a little bit on f4. Mm -hmm. and, uh, white probably is going to play with, at some point uh, after f5, I don't know, rook g3 or something like rook f3, rook g3, so, trying to bother you, you know, in a way. So maybe he's trying to maybe prepare this. H5, H1 first. Yes. You know, this I is all say an attempt. Like we'll see, but Black has the initiative now. Yes, of course. There are many ways for him to improve his okay, position. Okay, so up to Satorov has the uh, better position. Uh, so on the second board, Sindarov, Javokir Sindarov is won. playing. He actually won the game. It's already finished. Mm, it's already finished. Okay, it's, it's already finished. Uh, Javokir Sindarov has won uh, on the second board. Mm -hmm. Actually, a very strong player also Sindarov. Let's see this multiple board. Uh, um, where is it? Okay, Sindarov. Okay, let's see the game. It's actually a short game. Like Rui Lopez. Interesting. Where should we A4. Say? A4. It is like being popular. Oh, I like this line of the top of. Uh, it is just uh, renowned in the top of Anand game, this mm -hmm. very line. H3, knight b8. Oh, knight b8, I didn't like this. It is not the Brayer variation. Yeah. You know, black has lost two men. Thumpy f4. f4, what a move. Nice move, indeed. Yeah, it takes g7. Because bishop e5. Simply enough. Bishop e5, okay, six. Queen h5. There is no urge. After rook f6, there is probably rook takes f6, king takes f6, rook f1 check, and queen f7. It's, or queen, uh, rook f7 is gone. Mate. Almost mate. Okay, bishop e7, now nice. rook yes. takes f7. Uh, Black played actually very bad this game, you know. Uh, didn't see any any threats after you know, it is, here I, in this position first of all if white threatens mm -hmm. to play knight f5 uh, you have to find a way of uh, i mean dealing with dealing with this threat maybe bishop c8 i don't know you don't play knight b8 simply yes you know, yeah, yeah the position is widely open yes you don't play it you take with knight d5 e d5 and, and then play on d5, yes. and then play knight yes. b8 yes so this was the good game from uh, black side we are going uh, to come into the third board. Okay, third board uh, of uh, Uzbekistan is... Mu Muhite Madamino, Muhite Minov. Madaminov mm -hmm. and Andrei Valyanovsky. Probably these players are underrated, mm -hmm. uh, these uh, Uzbekistan team's players, because I mean, so much a lot difference between the first two boards, but I don't think they are uh, 20, uh, 45, you know. should be much more uh, strong, these players. Let's see this game, Mago Madamino Muitin against Velyanovsky, Andrei. Almost uh, 20. This is okay, this is the game. Madamino. French defense. You know, this is the debate of the century. <laughs> Whether it is not bad Madame or not. Madamino is black, yes. Mm -hmm. It's the, you know, very line that Karyakin plays with white. Uh, actually, Tviyakov also is playing this line. Bishop e2, why? No, white Maybe he wants is... to play bishop e3, but now he changed his mind. And I bishop b4 is a strong bishop move. Bishop e4. Strong move? I was thinking to play bishop e6 or knight e6, but now probably attacking the there is that even that uh, rook is attacked. Mm -hmm. Not so easy. So let's see. Rook f1. Why not rook the e2? Well, but then it is this knight is problem. Eh? e5. Yes, this is a problem. Rook e2 castles on e5. Obviously. Rook e2, maybe rook d8. 
Aham. Bishop e3. Then bishop c5. Bishop e3, bishop c5, rook d2. The holding. Rook d2, yeah, maybe possible knight d4. I'm not sure, but this is... Okay, anyway, rook knight f3. Queen c7, bishop e2, e5. Nice. Knight h4, also a good move. E4 is coming. E4 and, and now the idea is to take with knight e3 after queen e3 bishop f4. So you need to with, take with the f pawn, but your king side is eventually weakened. Mm -hmm. So knight e4 is not recommended, but you know there are no obvious squares the knight for mm -hmm. escaping on. So after knight e4, I am calculating about you know mm -hmm. uh, knight e4, knight e3, f e3, and Black even needs to play, you know, maybe uh, rook e8 or even rook a7 is possible to hold the bishop and free the queen on. Yes. Interesting, though. Uh, with the bishop pair and the weakened king side, black has maintaining the solid advantage. Yes. Seyed Ali Oldashev, the trainer of the Uzbekistan team, is watching the actual the third board. Yes. As you can see from the behind of his team. Everybody is looking on this board. What's going on there? This is the board, third board, yes? Yes. They are checking. On the fourth board, the girls player is playing mm -hmm. against a boy from from Macedonia. So Belkovsky. let's go to this Umida Omonova. Versus Christian Belkovsky. Christian Belkovsky. Okay, Omonova is checking the third board. Maybe she has a comfortable position. Yes, she is really comfortable position. She has a pawn up. Uh, G2 is, you know, may I think it is easily defended. Mm -hmm. She is pawn up and then. There is a, you know, annoying group, but I think this is easily defended. Okay. So Italian. Is... Also, you know, the Indian youngsters as uh, Nihal Sarin or etc. Uh, have made this popular for both colors. They always constantly play in the Italian game. Oh, yes. This is Actually. the Indian variation, <laughs> as I can tell. Yes. This uh, is nice. Nice and done by white. Is after F3 probably. Still, should, white should be careful because black has an active uh, pieces. I think the F3 was a mistake. F3 was a mistake. It's a mistake. Probably. Probably in this moment. Uh, well, why is it a mistake? Uh, because you know you just weaken your second rank. You, you want take, to take it on F5. E F5 is obviously. Why not? If I take knight F5. But then it's okay. Why I'm not? not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. Against rook G8, I have knight G3. Also, knight you can take over D5, but I will take B A B A and play rook B1. You know this is. All okay for white. Maybe I take here. Yeah. Um, rook e5. I'm not recommended for rook e5. A uh, e5. Rook e5. Oh, yes. This is a bit more. You're, you're right. Now, what to the rook knight takes? Rook takes b5. You take, take. And then what to play? And you need to submit rook b1. To b a b uh, Yes, rook b1. Simply. I want to play rook b6, rook h6, rook a6. You're also, right. that's Actually, you're right. This is, looks much better. No, why, why you weaken this your... This looks much better. Mm, because I, after knight d3, also rook f1. f5, actually, it takes f5 was the better move. Anyway, she played f3, f3, you know. she played f3 and she started to check the third board. <laughs> and now... Because uh, uh, black has black some initiative. Is, yeah, black has... But why is it uh, really better? Black has some compensation. But I don't know if it's enough or not. We'll see. One note uh, for black is not to take. What do you say if we check the Turkey uh, yes. girls team uh, is playing not? against uh, America? Yes. Uh, let's go to this game. It's interesting. America, the Turkey girls against the United States of America. On the first board, Gülçe Nehir Kara is playing woman contest master against a FIDE master Joshia. Uh, Josiah United States is leading two to nil right now. Two to nil. Uh huh. Uh, Gülce is lost. Won. 
and Gülce is lost on the board, first board. First board lost. Uh, Joshi Yasteman won. Yes. And on the side, uh, third board, Chisel is lost against uh, yeah. Balayi Dagupati. Yeah. So on the third, uh, second board? Second let's board see. is continuing. Gülen Aydın versus Ivan Ke. Okay, let's we see, can this, see it. this uh, second board. And also fourth board is uh, continuing. Justin Chen against Elin Çelik. Uh -huh. Oh, is it a Grunfeld on the Glenis board? Okay, yeah. Mm. A Grunfeld it seems, but why it's kind of better. Yes. Grunfeld. G3, okay, G3 system. I like as for white. Knight C6 is, you know, a valid move. Actually, one of the main moves. Uh, there are also turns. Knight E5. Knight A5. Knight A5. Is A5. The move, yes, I don't know this Knight E5. Because Knight D4 is too well. F4 yes. is common. Knight A5 is the move, yes? Yes, obviously. I don't know why she played knight e5. This may be a preparation. We cannot Are tell you it. Sure? I'm not. Takes, <laughs> takes, knight d6. White is better. Yes, Obviously, we should be to a4. You know, this is the best way to handle with Catalan. Okay, we exchange okay. it, but you know, there are still so a5. After a5, maybe knight a8 is the only move. Of course. Or bishop g2. Yeah, but still bishop g2. Yeah, you're right. Bishop g2 first. A5. A5. Bishop g2. I'm calculating something. Bishop g2 uh, takes, takes. What did you calculate? Bishop c3. Ah, yes. Oh, no, no, no. It's not happening. Queen c3, queen d5, f3. So mm -hmm. uh, knight is uh, hanging also. There is a mate in threat. The mate threat and the knight it is It is, it is not working, obviously. So it's not working. Okay. So, so probably... Uh, knight needs to refrain like a8. <laughs> Knight a8, no. Yeah, okay, this can't okay. be better for white. Ah, first of all, can I take here? Where? This is also interesting. Ah, maybe it's not working, eh? Because of this reason. Takes. No. Uh, takes and rook somewhere. And now knight e7 is a threat. But. But what? Maybe here? You mean, no, no, no, no, knight e7 and it is easy it to works. defend. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So probably it doesn't work, and knight a8 is the only move. And um, then now what? Rook d1, knight e4, this, you know, is this the other rook? D1. No, no, no, I want to go for the other rook, because I have plans for the a1 rook, like rook a4. <laughs> it's a mm. rook a4, rook a4. I want to play knight e4. c4 is the only move for black. Mm. c4 is probably Why the only c4? abc, rook c4, my enemy. This knight e4 I don't like actually. Maybe I have to play a5. Oh, after a5 I actually, you know, oh, lots of moves starting with rook a4 or d6. Maybe d6 is better. Maybe, just... knight, maybe knight e2, knight f4. Oh, another one, good idea. Actually. But anyway, this looks better for white. Actually, I think that this is wrong type of Grunfeld for black. It's fine, right. you cannot see the curse. Wrong. The United States versus the United States. And this is the which board? Board 12. 12. Kobalia is on the... Mm, Kobalia behind, is watching. Behind is watching. Turkmenistan game. Turkmenistan versus Russia is watching. Is you know, uh -huh. standing on the same place. Ah, we are playing the on the, front. yes, uh, on the yes, behind, behind, yeah, behind yeah. Kobalia, uh, Gülenay with the glasses, and mm -hmm. also the Eylül Çelik from the fourth board is playing. Eylül has actually you know, some chances. Chance. Really? Well, let's check this. Yes, to get something out of Eylül Çelik is playing uh, with black pieces, yes, against Justin Chan. Justin Chan and Eylül Çelik, okay. Yes, looks like an interesting position. What is this position? No, knight c4 is coming. F5. You know, this is the type of the stonewall formation, but you know, uh, it may transpose from the very, very vastly majority of the uh, different openings. Uh, Queen c5 uh, one is actually one of the ideas mm. to exchange the dark square bishop. Yes. So knight c3, knight e4, knight e2, knight e2's uh, idea is to play knight f4, knight e3, knight e5. You mm -hmm. know, we can show this maneuver to the weavers. 
Knight F4, Knight D3, and Knight E5. Knight here, yes, yes, Knight mm -hmm. F4, Knight first bishop moves to E2, to Knight D3, mm -hmm. and Knight E5. So, okay, the game continued like this. Queen A6. Queen A6, I don't know why, maybe. Nice idea, Knight F6, Knight G4. What does you, the Knight F6, Knight G4. Knight F6, Knight G4. Okay, knight g3, f4. Good move. Ah, this is also a good move, but this knight g3, I didn't like it at all. Bishop f1, knight f6. Yes, you're right. Lex looks like black has the initiative now. Definitely. Knight uh, cannot move because f2 is hanging. Knight on f3 cannot move. Ah, maybe not hanging now. Maybe knight e5, knight maybe. E5. But I'm not Can that I sure play about something like h5. Is it possible, for example, wow. or maybe not knight g6. g6, or maybe knight g4 now? Knight takes g4. What happens? Takes, queen takes, f3. f3 is coming. Yeah, this is not working. Can you take it all? So what okay. to do now? F2, queen f2, queen f2, g4. No. Um, how about taking cd4 simply? You know, uh, we need to get rid of this knight. So rook to take c8 is a force move. Rook to c8. So we will take with what? Let's say bishop. Let's say bishop. Queen d4. It's kind of forced. And now, it's time to think. Because, you know, uh, we always have stuff like bishop g4 or knight g4. G4 doesn't work, I think, because there is always this thing. I'm also calculating about the queen. Oh, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait. We have queen takes f2. Queen takes f2 right now. Good consequence. Oh, yes. Queen takes f2, queen takes f2, knight f2, king f2, knight g4 check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe this is a good idea. So maybe you have to play c takes d4. You're right. So knight e5 is, be, you uh, know, shaking. It's, it's a shaky move. Yeah, but what to play? If you don't play, knight g4 is coming. Looks like a um, forced move here. Maybe dc5. I'm but checking dc5. I don't like it at all. Knight g4? Maybe knight g4, you know, yeah. What I calculate, check it. Knight h1. <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> So why, why why you want to play like this? I'm holding, you know. You are holding. <laughs> I'm holding. My idea is well, to play h3. Very, very, so. very, very passive. First, I can take on c5 BC, easily. H3. And also h3. No, not that easy. But now you cannot go back. No, no, I will play queen e5. Queen e5. Queen what? Oh, no, no, it's not possible. Queen takes e5, take knight f2. You see? Uh, so nothing is possible here. Mm. Well, I think it's a good position for black. Okay, so maybe we go back to another match. Uh, let's go to which match? Uh, let's so let's see another interesting first board. What do you say? First Azerbaijan, board. Mongolia. Okay. Uh, uh, any any Finnish game? I'm checking. Yes, there is a draw. First on the first board. I'm checking it. On the first board, they are still playing. Uh, on the third board, they agreed on a draw. Third board. Yes. Okay, third board, I withdraw. Uh, okay, let's go back to the first board. We left on the we left point. here, mm -hmm. and the game continued. How? Oh, oh, many many moves has been made. Let's go back quickly uh, to see what happened here after uh, this position. Okay, f5, f5 has been played. F5, okay. D takes, D takes, and knight d2. Knight d6, that's what so, you are saying. Bishop c5. Instead of c5. Yeah. Bishop b3. e4 and f4. f4. gf4? No, not right now. Okay. g4, e, gf4, e4, e5. Yes, it is necessary because, you know, f4 should be isolated from all. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can we play h4 instead of queen d3? h4. What? h4. Can we play h4? 
in his position. Huh? Why do you want to weaken? I am, uh, you know, trying to. Bishop G4 is coming and then. Okay, okay. So I, I'm sacrificing something because after Bishop G4, I have always opportunity to play E6. You cannot play Bishop G4. That uh, simply H4 after H4. H4. H4. Mm -hmm. Maybe G5. Still G5. Bishop G4. Bishop E6. G5. G5. After E6, there is no place for the rook. Huh? Mm -hmm. If rook F5, maybe E7 or what? Mm, not E7. No. Yeah, probably E7. E7. Queen somewhere. I don't know where. Only move maybe queen c8. Queen c8. If queen d7, maybe um, queen d7 also is possible. I take six. I take. No, no it's not efficient way. Uh, we may play queen c2. And uh, rook maybe I take six is still possible. Knight I know rook takes f6. Pardon, sorry. Knight takes because I exchange mm -hmm. queens and rook e8 queen. Queen queen queen c2 is a simple one to play. Queen c2. Uh, rook uh, c2 d1. My idea is. So, uh, why do seems to be really comfortable? What about taking here? Bishop takes. And knight e5. Okay, so what is happening after bishop e4? Okay, take, take, bishop, knight e5. Bishop e4. And then coming here, something like this. Very dangerous position. Knight takes f4. I don't know, this looks getting very dangerous for you. I'm the man on, of danger, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> not for this type. Maybe uh, oh, bishop d5 yeah. check, bishop d5 check. This is still continuing. Rook takes e5. Rook, okay, still rook takes e5. Ah, uh, rook takes e5. Rook takes maybe f4 first, huh? Mm -hmm. And rook e6. Rook e6. e6. What a, what a utopic analogy you are making. <laughs> making but, but you know, <laughs> after c6. <laughs> It is still continuing because, because you know there is the game is still going on. <laughs> there is also always you sacrifice you sacrifice the the piece and the game is still going to be. Oh, okay. <laughs> instead of that, I I was I was thinking about queen takes g six. What were you playing? Queen takes ah, g six. Okay, I didn't see this move. Good move. <laughs> and bishop e three. No, no, bishop e three. Ah, rook f six. No. Mm. I was thinking about bishop takes h6, but <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's uh, of course not the case that they will not be able to play such kind of moves that we are analyzing. Anyway, h4 is uh, but h4 is a very very dangerous look looking move. Okay, what so they play? They played queen, queen e3, e3, normal one. G5, rook d1, all the simple. Okay, bishop takes c5, bishop c3. Repeat. She, he doesn't want to repeat. White doesn't want to repeat. But black is blockading. Okay, knight c7. What do you say? What do you think? Who is better? Hard to tell, but black's position is improving. You know, he has ideas of b5, and it seems that g4 is also a threat. So I don't see any point of white to why play such this position. So, G4 is a real threat. Mm -hmm. You're right. Black is better, I guess. It's not you the like white. Black. Mm -hmm. But today against G4, you're right. Okay, so we go to second board. Ahmad Ahmad Zada against Kuyat uh, Sokt Itkelt. Itkelt uh, Ahmad Zada. We left it here, and now the position is this. Oh. So how the game continued? Let's see here. Takes takes b3 b4. He played before. Actually, he decided to push this for immediately. Knight c4 is too early. Ah, yes, knight Bishop b f1 was necessary. You know, after you play knight c4, black has the path pool. Queen a1. Very strange. What is the threat? Let me check. Knight takes e4. I cannot take d6 probably because of b3. Eh? b3, b2. Mm -hmm. Okay, b3 is quite uh, quite dangerous. Bishop g5. 
Is black smooth? Alex, now thinking. Which black six is a real threat? He looks like he he's going to play. Some. What's going on? In Queen of C eight. They played some moves. Is this the position? Yes, looks like this position. And this is. He plays something like. Maybe rook e5, queen c8, rook e8. I would say. Rook e5? No, why rook e5? What's this move? Yes, rook e5. Queen c8, rook e8. And queen c6 again. They are why bidding queen, moves, rook e5. I don't understand. Uh, just, uh, he wants to take the bishop. So the point is, bishop f6, bishop f6, queen takes d6 is not that uh, good as it seems to be because, you know, after just you put bishop something else and you play b3. Even white is a pawn up, white cannot prove the pawn and black has the be better chances due to the pass b4. So they are repeating us. That's why. So black, you, you mean, doesn't like his position? Yes. Mm. He doesn't find a way to improve it. It's probably as well. Okay, so what are the but times like remaining? Actually it is 4 minutes for black, 18 okay. minutes for white. Black is actually is an international master yes. 24 or 6, and white is uh, 2160. There is 250 LED difference. And you know, this position actually still looks dangerous. Do we have a surprise in the very first <laughs> round? Did they repeat? Um, no. No. He did. White he, actually the, changed this repetition. He decided it, to what, play bishop, bishop f4. f4. Uh huh. You know, we may have a uh, very you know, surprising result in the first round. Really? It, it may be possible because you know on the first board we thought that I didn't Suleiman uh, had a, some troubling position against uh, Gunnar Dene. For, for Mongolia, no, no, no. They are still playing. You know, as we told, there is not uh, the obvious defense against G4, and the second board, as we can see, White is pushing, and the third board they already drew. Oh, and if Mongolia drew. won on the second what board, what about fourth know, board? They are still playing. Let, Mongolia let's check. may create the biggest surprise of the first Maybe, round. Yeah. You know, as you remember last the year, Russia, uh, yes, yes, two, two, yes. two versus you know. You're right, let's go to the... And Sri Lanka also board. beat Nia last uh, year's uh, ah, event. Third board we check? Third board is a draw. Ah, third board draw, okay. Fourth board, Woman Fide Master, Beydullayeva. Versus Burma. Okay, Burma, Beydullayeva, what's the disposition? Ah, uh, we left a similar so, point. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it didn't change much. This is the last position. No, no, no, this is not the last position. Ah, they not played. the last position? Yes. Ah, this is the last position. They have oh, played many. Much. They have played many. Okay, okay. This is the position we left it. Here, oh, what happened? Uh, they made many moves. We told that, okay, okay. Takes, we takes, queen e8, rook g1. This is the position bishop h3 has been played. Knight f8, queen c3, knight g6, bishop e6, and then. So. Knight oh. e2. Uh, but. She lost an exchange? No. No, she expect. Queen g3. Okay. But you know, black has now a safe position and he he can start thinking about an attack on the queen side. Yes. So there is always e4 threats. So queen e4, that's why rook b8, bishop c1, queen b5. Uh, you know, a3 also knight can find some way to itself, like knight g6, knight f4. So b3 is probably... It's not the board, probably. It's my, can we see the fourth? Can board? we see the board? For board? Port, port port. So I think knight g6, knight f4. Also, after b3, there is another source of a5, a4. Mm -hmm. is still coming. Uh, there is no way for hold to white, actually. So you prefer black? Black. black. Mm -hmm. White is thinking. Uh, they both have 13 minutes. What is the, your idea now? 
if I play, for example, if I play something like SAB3. A5. What do you play? Mm, maybe A5 or Knight G6, that's better. Knight G6. Knight G6. Mm -hmm. No, I it's not. I thought maybe Queen F1. Wow. Because I threatened A2. Probably a better move, what to play. Queen E3. Queen E3, then I take one. Knight F3, Bishop G5. Like it's a much more quicker way than I thought. Yeah. Okay, anyway, this looks actually alright. Very, very good position for black. And probably uh, if they win on this fourth board, Azerbaijan will still hold the match. Balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because on the um, second board, we are also expecting a draw. Yes. They also already tried to repeat the moves for okay. one time. Let's go to Turkmenistan versus Russia. Again, another. This is still zero versus zero. zero no zero. games have been finished. Okay, on the first board, Murzin is playing versus Nurmad Medov. Okay, this was the position we left it off. It was an analysis, knight a6. Now, was the last ah, this was uh, knight a6 has been played, yes. After mm -hmm. knight a6, let's see the position, what happened here. Okay, takes, takes, bishop to knight a6, we left it here. h3, bishop e6, interesting, bishop e6, knight d7. Rook c1. He wants to control the c5 square. You know, it's like a shadow boxing. Yeah. Have you take Important a d6? Okay. b4 square for fighting. Exchange it. Exchange it also. Exchange it now. <laughs> so black really wants to play c5, but white already prevented it. Mm -hmm. How to win this, actually? Not Quite easy, not to easy at all. Murzin is thinking, but well, I don't think she, he finds a way. First, probably we... Maybe he's actually in time trouble. I'm checking From the point. body language, he looks a little mm, bit kind stressed. Of no, he has, you know, uh, eight minutes. So he did not play a... something else, but he played no, he... E8, I think. Rook e8. Yes, logical because he needs to play king e6 and king d6 and c5. Rook e8 and then blue white played something. What did he play? Bishop e6. Bishop e6. Bishop? No, not bishop. Bishop b6, yes. B6. There, there, there's something on b6. And they played many moves. And. Ah, the rook on c7 also. The game changed. Bishop d4, maybe something like. Rook e8. Now white plays something. I don't know what played. Rook to. Rook to b4. No, rook to b6, maybe. Uh -huh. rook but to there b6. is no pawn on b. Uh, rook b6. Rook b6, rook, rook c7, rook c7, and b4. Rook c7 and b4. Wow. White uh -huh. played such a game. But what about knight b8, knight d7? Now b5 is coming up. Yeah? Uh, he played knight b8 actually. Knight b8, knight d7, uh, b8, knight d7, and then what? Rook takes b7. Is it Rook possible? Takes b7. No, no, no, it is not possible. Rook takes c6. Probably Rook white is lost. Exchange, but still sh should be draw, you know? But why? Why, why like this, white needs to do takes, that? Takes and a6, and oh. then a7, how to win this? Okay, uh, but why white Probably needs white to is better. No, probably white wants to draw anyway. Why white needs to draw? Because his team is now. No, ah, his team is losing, losing. How do you know? I, I, I don't know, but you know, um, there white is. White wants to draw because you know white wants to draw. Ah, you're right, probably. You know, it is just. Uh, white is a, it has a better position. Yes, now white is a better position. Yes, now you mean white is better, huh? Yes. You know, I don't want to get the draw. He made something wrong, huh? Because B5 is coming. Mm -hmm. Knight b8 and... Knight b8, but what to do now? After knight b8, I don't see any other choice. You know, knight d7 is coming. Do you see? There is the Let's other move. Check. b5 only move. Let's check. Otherwise, knight d7 is coming. I don't see any other move. Probably yes. Only move. Only knight move, d7. knight d7. Okay. Taking also only move. 
Okay, this oh. is also on the move. But yes, you know, but this, this is this is not the line that we are yeah. checking. We we just checked rook takes b7. What? Rook takes b7. Ah, we this checked. is probably forced. No, no, no. Instead of b7, we first take with yes. rook, rook takes b7. Ah, yes, but this this is also interesting. That's not why not play b takes c6. Because why you don't like this? You know, there is knight takes b6. Knight takes b6. Okay. This is simply a version. Uh huh. Ah, maybe this is not a good way. Uh huh. Ah, he played b5. Probably they are. Okay, root takes b7, eh? You know, uh, you root said that. Takes b7, takes, takes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, you said that Volodar mean, uh, seems to be somewhat nervous, but you know, uh, he's rather excited about knight b8, knight d7. Maybe. Mm -hmm. He thought that he is just getting the lead in the game, but it is not that definite. Maybe the best thing that he may obtain is a uh, forcing a drone position. After this no, sequence, I don't see another move. But to play this, do you see? C D rook D A six. You say C seven probably the only move. Eh? Mm -hmm. And what? then takes takes and A six. No, no, no, rook takes C one. Not this. Oh. Rook takes take C one. C one. And then what's the difference? I don't see. Ah, but you exchange one rooks, pair yes. of rooks and, and still black is. Uh, but no, no, he cannot go no. here. Ah. ah, and now again in the rook C six. No, no, no. Why, why we we, what we do don't what put do you play? rook C six, rook behind the pawn C six. Okay, okay, this uh, is the same thing. A seven, rook A four, and now uh, how to win? I don't know. I don't think it's winning. This, <laughs> this is probably drop G4. Oh, yes. Just G4 play G4. Waiting moves. Yeah, should be draw. Okay, maybe we give a short break. Yeah, mm -hmm. I hope it will be short because now the connection probably is better. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, see you in a short while. Couple of minutes. Hello, we are with a uh, video official, Vadim Sitpin. Welcome, Vadim. Thank you. So, is this your first time in showroom? Yes, this is my first time in showroom. I was privileged to be in showroom several times, but this is really the first time in this beautiful city, and we are very impressed by how the mayor and the administration of the city support this event. So, it would be impossible for the federation itself to throw such a great thing without support for local authorities and the great that everyone gets behind us. Thank you for your compliments. So, um, what, what is your actual um, position and actual um, workplace, work field and feed them? I'm a secretary of the management board, as you know, after um, Mr. Arkady Dvarkovich was elected to the president last year, a new team came uh, with a slogan to bring chess out of the woods, to bring new horizons, to really unite all the uh, forces that strive for change and for clear, uh, for the clear and transparent governance. So for the, uh, the first year that uh, we built there, a lot of things have been done, and one of the new structures that built there is the management board. It's is uh, 10 people appointed by the president who are responsible for various aspects of feed the daily activities, separation activities. We work with close contact with the presidential board, of course, but we implement the daily directives of the president. So as uh, I'm sure you've seen from um, your position in the Turkish uh, chess world, uh, there is a lot of things that have been improved in feed, especially financially. Uh, audits, independent audits by uh, uh, certified auditors, the first ever tender for chess equipment. Mm -hmm. A lot of new competitions, bringing it women's chess uh, in the same. Also, uh, the world. money pricing is on the big tournaments, and the number of exactly. big tournaments are increasing. Exactly. Over the so years. you noticed. Mm -hmm. You noticed it is good. So 
uh, the prices are increasing and the fees are being cut. So uh, the presidential board in Budapest, they, uh, which uh, competed in uh, Q3, they took the decision to cut in half all the fees that uh, chess players paid to feed, which is a great so relief. So can participate independent of their economic situation. Exactly. Especially uh, the seniors, because seniors sometimes they have uh, they are on limited income, they have difficult uh, difficulties to retire. retired, right? They have to count every penny. And support for seniors chess and support for well, what how it's, how it's called chess veterans is a very important priority in our team. And you know, as you know, the prices for the European and World Senior Champions have been increased dramatically and the fees have been cut to zero. So every senior player can participate and we hope to do something similar with youth chess and uh, to make more events affordable for people of all economic means. So you also mentioned about um, you know uniting the chess uh, players all around the world mm -hmm. in a sense. So uh, what uh, will be the possible cooperations amongst the federations or amongst the players as FIDE is thinking about? Oh, that's a great question. You know, FIDE unites 191 federations now, but they are grouped into four continents. So we work closely with our friends and partners in the Continental Association, which is a European Chess Union in case of Turkey, and uh, say Asian Chess Federation or uh, the uh, Confederation of Chess for Americas or the African Chess Federation. We uh, develop projects together with our continental counterparts, and FIDE has signed agreements with our continental or federations in Astana in Q1 2019, whereby we allocated a significant amount of money to the tune of 500,000 euros to each of wow. them for various projects. And then uh, the implementation and the priorities, of course, are better known to local people. So the way it works, National Federation comes to the continental level and says, we have to train more female arbiters, for example. There is an nice. ur urgent need for that. And that is financed from the development fund of it. We never impose anything on uh, people. Uh, the, uh, we listen to their needs and we try to make sure that we meet their needs. With their needs. So if you have any special ideas, say in Turkey or in neighboring country, for training, for development, or for making sure that the new chess variants or new time controls or new tournament formats are being tested. Anything invented. Exactly, exactly. Because you have to be a pioneer, so you have to experiment. You have to have the safety net and be sure that uh, we're all behind you. And it's normal, like a baby who, who learns to walk. Sometimes he drops and he cries when he falls, right? But so there are different mistakes. As you know, currently there is um, uh, the first fish random chess championship. Which this is, is currently uh, playing on the <laughs> chess so, Wow, bravo, bravo. So this is, is this exactly one of these new things that we are trying. Uh, maybe the participation is not as big as... Uh, large scale. Uh, it's like scale. a round round. Exactly, but uh, it's the beginning, right? It's a start. The same with corporate championships, same with... Uh, this is the most important thing because I saw a, you know, Instagram post of the chess in the United States, mm -hmm. for example, JP Morgan and the other uh, you know, important companies like in the Wall Street, mm -hmm. guys also um, sending their chess teams for the conferences and the players. Yes, sir. Yes. And that's another important area. They can always say our employees are more smarter than the employees of our competitors, right? So it's not for the prizes, it's for the bragging rights. It's, it's different economy. Right? So I was about to ask you one last of question about, you know, uh, you told the financial uh, improvements of the feeding. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm also wondering about the sponsorships and the quality and the uh, scale of these sponsor companies, you know, because mm -hmm. like as the uh, tennis, so, Many brands has been sponsored mm -hmm. on you. How is it for chess? Oh, I, I would say it's been a real breakthrough in the last 12 months. Our president, Mr. Kadi Berkovich, he personally goes around the world and identifies new opportunities, and the whole team is working very hard in getting contracts signed. And one of the things that are probably mostly visible for a casual chess fan is a contract with Coca Cola. Such a wow. such a recognizable brand name as Coca-Cola, which is number one. Like IBM in the nineties. Absolutely, absolutely. 
They became a sponsor of the Grand Prix in Yurmala and uh, some t other tournaments in um, Northern Europe. And this is a very satisfying partnership. It continues, it goes along. Uh, some other companies that are on board is Rosat, which is a nuclear power giant in uh, Russia. Another is Russian Railways. There are uh, many, many others. For example, this Rosatom, I uh, think, will organize a disabled event in Ankara in your country. Yeah. In, uh, yes. International or international? International. Yeah. international. It will be an international event. Like very, IBCA. Uh, very so. Yes, yeah, similar, similar, different, all kinds of disabilities. So again, Turkey came through to help feed that. But uh, this is a commercial sponsorship. Again, I'm not asking you for funds. This is really a company. That, and uh, the goal is to be responsible from our side, right? We are responsible in managing sponsors' money, and the chess players, we are hopefully responsible with dress code and their behavior, right? Because they both apply. <laughs> absolutely. As if you look closely at the regulations of the World Cup that just completed in Hunter Mansisk, and the upcoming regulations for the World Rapid and Blitz, it's only formal wear. So, man is only suit. Right? No, no. So the dress code should be commenced for more the tournament, as you say. Yes, that's like used to be in the first times of the chess. Absolutely, the all these gentlemen, not square tours, masker, and everyone. Whatever. So this is one direction. Another direction is uh, we are looking to make more and more uh, feed events smoking free. So by 2022, probably they will be completely banned on smoking because we want to be good role models for kids. But um, again, returning to the sponsors, and if you look at the um, interviews that Mr. Dorkovich gave uh, at the, on the occasion of the first anniversary, whereby he put uh, had some of the milestones for the next year. The goal, the proclaimed goal and target is to reach at least 50% of financing of all tournaments through sponsorship money. Wow. It's a so in the future, you say that all the tournaments will be on the sponsorship. Well, might be possible. Might be possible. Let's all work for it. And the examples I see here at Churn with the sponsor logos and with big companies sponsor shows that it is possible. There is close cooperation and there is a good uh, return on investment for people who invest in chess. Thank you so much for enlightening us. It's, a, here. it's a pleasure. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy with the tournament. So we are cutting for a short break.
Dear chess friends, we are back again and we go directly to the match between Greece and Slovenia. Actually, we missed this match. Yes, we, we have made too many results to yes. declare for you to later on the game. Yes, actually, Turkey has beaten meanwhile uh, Montenegro 3 to 1. And, and this uh, game is going to one and off versus one and off. Greece this versus match Slovenia. Between Greece and Slovenia is one and off. One and so this is the decisive game between uh, Greece and Slovenia. So uh, Kuhar from Slovenia trying, Kuhar. trying to win uh, versus uh, Greece. Okay, maybe mm -hmm. we have a uh, we have a guest. Mm -hmm. Uh, but let's see this afterwards we will have the guest yes so uh, what is this position what do you think bishop d3 white is a pawn up and at black is attacking with c4 but actually white is c4 is not uh, white getting is, the yeah. lost anyway so trying to win this position white is actually uh, white uh, kuhar the is girl, girl player, girl player mm -hmm. yes Actually, I can, uh, White can declare some drawing. Uh -huh. They are playing, you know, they are a little on time. Some, can we zoom, a, some zoom on the board? G3 move, I think. Is it I possible? Think. Yes. F5 has been played, I think. Rook is on still, move, still on moves, H4. Some moves, I don't see. So G3 and F5 had been played. We should. Rook is, where is rook, the Rook? And he's playing very fast because probably. He's rook C6. But how is the position? G3. G3. No, G3, but there is a pawn on F5 also. What white plate? I don't see. You can just have the last position. G3, F5. White plate, what? Rook um, F4. Rook F4, let's say. Not Rook F4, Rook somewhere else. But this is, you know, still draw. Rook on H4. Still a clear draw. King G2. Okay. King on g2. Rook c6. Rook on c6. And now white played what? Oh, she's she's playing what? F3. She F3. F3. F3. Rook c8. Rook, Rook c8. King, king f2. f2. Okay, she's trying to win this position. To come with the king. Yes, of course, she's a pawn up and she wants to win. It's very Too normal. logical. Yes. King e1, king d2, nice king idea. E1, king d2, you king know, c3 probably. If, if, if you can kick the bishop out and play king c3, rook, you may also play g4. A8, trying to activate the rook. Well, and now, what? Knight somewhere. Maybe knight d5, but uh, knight, bishop takes c4. No, no, no, knight takes b6. Knight d5. Okay. Probably knight d5. Is it, you know, the move? Uh, but b5. Against knight d5, there is b5. No, it's not possible. Maybe f4, but it's rather complicated. f4, no, king d6, rook h6, this. king c5. So, uh, this is not also obvious. You know, you, you need to sit and wait. For what? Sit and wait. <laughs> Maybe rook h6. Uh, no, no, rook h6. I want to move rook h6. You want to mate? What do you mm -hmm. want? Rook h6. If um, I give check? Rook king g1. King G1, King D4. Knight mm, G2. What do you want? Uh, B6 pawn. Rook B2, let's say. If I take this. Uh, bishop, uh, Rook takes B6, and I am happy with it. Maybe I protect it first. Rook B2, uh huh? But I will play, you know, nevertheless. Mm, G, check here, maybe. Check here, okay. King C4, Knight E3. Uh huh. Knight E3, Knight E1. Oh, we are lost. No, this this is not definitely this not a, happening. This is a good rook h6. What did she play? But maybe this I have this idea. Look, if you play knight g2, I give check. King h2. King h2, and I play it here. <laughs> if I want to make draw. Yes, the easiest way. So yeah. How, how to, you cannot escape from this pin. Mm, I, I always check. Give check. You cannot go king h3 because of bishop f1. This if you go to yes, if you go to g1 f2, I give check on a2 and a1. So, so I don't see any, any way of. What recently happened on the board? King f2 and he is still thinking. Is about to play. She so played. So properly, the, this played is the what? last moment of the game. B5, knight d5, b5. Knight huh? d5. She played. She played the rook a8. 
Rook a8, knight d5 has been played and b5. Instead of rook h6, a knight e5 and, and b5. b5. Yes. So now it's interesting because f4 check. C4 is no f4 check is not. Hanging. She's losing some ground. She's losing her ground in this position. Now probably she's in time trouble. That's the reason why. Maybe if I give check. No, no, she. They, they, they've been playing something. Something like what? King e3. No. King. King e3. E3. Uh, well, how what? B, B, B c4. Knight b6. No. Rook a3. Rook c4. What do you want? Knight b6. Knight b6. Well, Rook a3. Uh, you are attacking. Okay. At the same time, simultaneously. Rook a3. Ah, but this is draw. Or no? King d2. I mean, b4 on your move. Mm, why f4? I want to go king d4. Okay. They are. They. They. They have been playing something, like uh, king is on e5. You know, why play knight d5? They are risk all the game. He took on c4 with the bishop. What? Bishop, bishop c4, c4, knight c3. What? Knight c3. Uh huh. A maybe interesting move. No, she lost because the she wants to play f4. But rook a3. Rook a3 no, is no, still no. king d4 no, is coming. No, rook no, a3 no, no, no, f4 check. Okay, king f6. I, I play king d4. So what do you have in return? b4 maybe. Mm. b4. b4 maybe take. Rook c3. It looks short way to the right to the row. You know, the position yeah, is probably not so wrong because, uh, yeah. you know, she misplayed yeah, it somehow misplayed due it. to the high uh, time trouble. Yes, yeah, she misplayed. Okay, so probably rook a3. Yes, but the last four or five moves was uh, kind of meaningless for white. Okay. White Maybe is we, playing We, we have a guest now. Yes. Okay. You can take him. And you can take him. Please come. Okay, our guest is from Turkish team from uh, which Çorum. team? Yeah? Çorum. Çorum. Çorum. Turkish team from Çorum. Uh, you won the game. Kazandın oyun, değil mi? No. Ne oldu? Kaybettim, not kaybettim. I kaybetti. He lost the game, but he wants to show his game. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's see your game quickly. Hızlı bir şekilde bakalım, olur mu? Evet. Oyunla. Senin hangi masada oynuyordun? 20. Masa 20. 20 dedi. Ee, i̇smin ne, neydi? Hatırla. He? Hatırla, soy isimle. Nerede, ismin ne? Hatırla. Neredeyse hatırlı, Uğurcan. Beyaz mısın? Evet. Ee, Aşağıda kaç nerede bu? Göremiyorum. 20. masa. 20. masa da rating Rakip kaç? ratingden dizelim. Senin rating kaç? 1850. 1800. Rakip? 2325. Rakipten dizebilirsin hocam. Tamam buldum. Veiga mıydı rakibin ismi? Şöyle. Veiga. From? From Portugal. Portugal. Mm -hmm. Okay, your, you lost to Veiga. From Portugal with white pieces. Okay, let's see the game quickly. Hızlı bir şekilde bakıyoruz. Hatırlı. Uh, we are checking the game uh, of Hatırlı uh, with Vega quickly. So, uh, yorumda bulmak istersen. Benoni. Yeah. Benoni defense from black side. You have anything to say? Söyleyeceğim bir şey var mı? Buralarda. Sure. You prepare this line. Bu açı hazırladın mı bunu? Evet. Oynadığını biliyordun yani. Bak. Yani preparation. Yes, his own preparation. Okay, knight h5, bishop g5, bishop f6, bishop e3, knight e5, bishop e2, takes takes, knight g7. All this theory. Yes. Theory, evet. Yes, this is all theory. Şimdi çıkıyor. Now out of the theory. Mm -hmm. yes. 
Teoriden dışarı çıkıyor F5, G5, Queen C7, B4 için. For yes, B4, mm -hmm. F4. Bishop got stuck on H6. A5. He doesn't let you play. B4. B4. Bedevde kesti değil mi? B5. Evet. Nasıl? A A5 yerine B5. Ha, B5 oynayabilir diyorsun. Evet. B5 was better, maybe he says. Okay, Rook C2. Queen F6, Knight C1. You want to go to D3. Bishop D7, V3. Queen H4. Bishop G7 forced. Take. Now the bishop pair and the e pawn is weak. Rook E8, Rook C4. Now attacking on the king side. Shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Sometimes the Petrosian king won't march, but in this position, g5, g4 is rather too quickly. It doesn't let you go. Burda sonra tron bana iyi data yaptı. Maybe you sacrifice on d4. You have to, değil mi? Değiştirmen belki sakrifis. Another exchange request. Yapman lazım. Yapmadın, değil mi? Hemen grup grup yapsaydın belki. E5 yaptım. Kötü mü bu? İyi o. Ondan sonra hata yaptı. Sonra mı hata yaptı? Bu da iyi diyorsun. Bu da mı? At e5 düşündüm. At e5. E5 was also consideration. At e5 alıp alıp vezir c3 mü? Fili alırsa. G3. Vezir mi düşüyor? At e5, b5 and g3. Ne oluyor burada bakalım? At e5. B5 and g3. And g3. Oo, very interesting. I don't know this. You didn't play this. Yeah. Oynamadım. Why? Niye oynamadın? Ben. He didn't like it, despite the queen is gone. Knight e5. He saw it. Why you didn't like it? I don't understand. B5. You didn't like this. Yeah. Because he takes here, that's why you didn't like it. Kale çarpı. Açtı. But queen g5 check. G h4, g h4. Maybe arada bir. Ah, king f2. Takes. King f2. King takes g f. Queen g5. Queen g5. It's over. Yes, this is not working. So what to play here? I don't know. Knight takes e5 is a good move. You didn't like it. Why you didn't like it? Yes, I did. Biraz da süremez. Hesaplayamadım. Tam hesaplayamadım. Belki de almayacaktı o zaman e5'i. Biliyor musun? Fil de böyle gelecekti. Başka çare yok çünkü. Vezir düşüyor yoksa. Ama burada at f3 var. At f3 vezir düşüyor, değil mi? Ona ayrıca bir şey fark etmiyormuş. Gene vezir düşüyor. At5'ten sonra At5'ü nasıl engelleyecek? Kaçırdın yani bu hamleyi. Var aslında çok güzel hamleymiş bu. Yazık olmuş vallahi. Gerçekten çok güzel. It was a pity that he missed this move. After e5, okay. Anyway, you played bishop knight c5, bishop f5, d6, f3. Burada da ta yaptın. Burada da ne yaptın? Talep ettin. Kale de dört kötü mü? Kötü. Ne yapman lazımmış? Ona bakmadım da. Kale de dört kötü. D yedi olabilir. D yedi. D yedi. D yedi. Kale bir yere kaçacak herhalde. Şimdi mi vuruyorsun? Ne yapıyorsun? Rook takes e5. Kale e5. Peki g f3 mü? Niye kale e5 değil? Kale e5. Kale e5. Ne bileyim, olabilir aslında. It's probably fine enough because bishop e5, rook h4, g h4, queen g5 çekti. D7 maybe rook, kale e7 yapsa bu sefer yine kötü. Rook takes e4, kale de 4 var. Artık alıyoruz. E ne olacak bu? D7'yi kaçırdın yani. Hala kazanıyorsun yani burada. Kazanç değil mi burası? Buradan sonra kötü. Ama hani abur basan, d7 sürsen yine kötü mü? Kale de 4, vezir de 4, vezir ya 5, vezir ya 6. O kötü de d7 kazanmıyor muydu? Kazanmıyor. D7 kazanıyor hala. D7 still wins but he didn't play. He took on d4. Queen takes queen g5, bishop g6. Now the position is bad. Falling apart. But... Rook g3, queen e3, all sorts of stuff. Easy. 
H4 because H4 is threatened. We have to play H4. Is threatening with the mate, so there is no salvation against the mate on H1. And now the threat is going for you know King H6. Shatan and Jimmy. I be another. Sean, the more before, then maybe H4. Alder Sabunu, do you soon? Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Mrs. Gavish. Check and you resign. Yes. Because mm -hmm. F2 is hanging here. Kale alır F2. Mat oluyor. Okay, very interesting game. You missed some things in time travel. Zaman sıkışması da bazı hamileler kaçırdın ama ilginç bir oyun olmuş. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Teşekkürler, Teşekkürler. geldiğin için. Hayır. Okay. This, so we are uh, continuing. You know, uh, now um, the end game we were checking. Larissa Kuha versus Katsupides is just turned around for uh, black. And actually, Greece is now winning. Really? Yes, you know, this is last position. It suddenly collapsed. Collapsed for, for no obvious reasons. What kind you of... Know, well, uh, how do you this, this is about experience, you know. Nice C3. Uh-huh. This is about Rook experience. D3 is, is a threat. So what to do suddenly? You cannot blame her. Oh, the knight is trapped. Almost. But, you know, uh, from here there are much things to learn. Yes. There are here much things to learn. Yes. So black is uh, winning, lost. winning in uh, total loss now. Black is winning in bo both ways. Okay, so Greece mm -hmm. is winning by two and a half versus match, one and a half. Uh, okay, two and a half, one and a half, most probably. Most probably. cannot say for sure because this is not finished yet. So let's go to Uzbekistan, oh. Macedonia. What wait, wait, wait, wait, wait. There is a chance for black uh, in the game. Avalian versus Anagaldiev. Ah, uh, you mean which the Turkmenistan versus Russia? Ah, let's this is two versus so one in behalf of Turkmenistan. Ah, Turkmenistan and is there is C5 check, actually, you know? There is a actually a big surprise on the second board. Turkmenistan is now leading versus Russia, 2-1. So mm -hmm. there is uh, one more game not finished. Avalian Anna versus Gerdiyev Anna Verdiyev. Versus Avalian Anna and the position, let's see. Ah, he uh, lost. It's a rook ending. Anna Gerdiyev with white pieces against Avanyan, who lost? Black is winning, no? Geldiyev, is it winning? Is the colors correct? Is it draw or draw? Geldiyev is white, I thought he was black, he is winning. Is it winning or draw? Even if it's a draw. But still, it's draw, Turkmenistan is beating Russia. Yes. Two and a half against one and a half. It's a big surprise actually in this uh, match because the Russia is second seeded in this tournament and uh, Turkmenistan is 26th seed uh, of the Olympiad so they are really uh, a you big know, surprise you for, know. for the last year's tournament you know uh, and the very first round uh, they had a similar uh, result with uh, against let me check China um, uh, China, mm -hmm. Ch Ch China uh, drew against Russia last year. Yes, today and was they also are playing. playing against whom? China is playing against uh, Malaysia or so. I don't what know. happened in Hong Kong versus Turkey? White team. Turkey white. In which board? Uh, number 10. Turkey white Hong Kong. Let me check it. So, um, on the board, Turkey. Is Turkey white? Uh, they won four versus nil against Hong Turkey Kong. Turkey white has mm -hmm. won four nil against Hong Kong. Yes. Okay, very good score. What about Turkey girls versus United States? United of America? States uh, won four versus nil. Ah, we, they lost four mm -hmm. nil. Okay, so it's, uh, China also won against Sri Lanka four versus China, nil. China four nil won mm -hmm. against Sri Lanka. What about Bulgaria versus Kyrgyzstan? By the way, Bulgaria, we have to mention that they are back in the FIDE, you know, officially. Mm -hmm. So uh, they are playing in this tournament. Uh, Bulgaria for Kyrgyzstan nil. Bulgaria for Bulgaria for 
Kırgızistan New York. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Bulgari also is very strong team. Uh, also in this tournament, there is a team from South America, Colombia. Yes, What they won they? against uh, Karaganda, like Karaganda. for the New. For New, they won. Mm -hmm. India, India actually came here with a weak team. I don't know yeah, why. Uh, this this year, the last year squad is not playing completely, as I uh -huh. uh, to my knowledge. Um, India won against Thailand, beat like four to nil. Four nil. Mm -hmm. So they are not so weak. They are actually probably. They have in international masters over the board. Okay, so probably. Mm -hmm. Most of the uh, important oh, matches. Another surprise: Armenia is losing against Malaysia. Really? Yes. Armenia, Malaysia is where turned is off. Where are they playing? Which port? Only I don't know. Uh, Armenia, probably one, two, three, Malaysia, four, five. Russia, Malaysia. Six, seven, seventh board. On the seventh board, mm -hmm. Armenia is losing against Malaysia A. Yes. Very surprising result because if I check the uh, ratings. Malaysia is 31 seeded uh, of the Olympiad, uh, 31 seed team of the and my Armenia seventh. Incredible. Who is Incredible result. So it's finished? No, uh, yes, yes, it is finished. One and a half versus two and a half. One and they half lost. Versus two, they lost versus Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, actually. Result on the first round uh, already two big surprises. Turkmenistan uh, beating Russia and Armenia, Malaysia beating uh, Armenia. You know, we may also return to the Ukraine. What about versus, Turkey, Turquoise uh -huh. versus Serbia? It is 3 to 1 in behalf of Turkey. 3 to 1. This is uh -huh. also a surprising yes, result. If I check, the, also the 8 seed Serbia has lost to Turkey. Turquoise, 3 to 1. <coughs> Incredible. Ukraine is also, you know, uh, having tied with Iceland like one and off and one and off right now, and one board is uh, of the Ukraine is continuing against Iceland on uh, board three. One we and may, up, one and off. Yes. Let's may, check this. We may focus on uh, the, which board? Um, fourth board of the event, uh, Bream okay. versus Malovanie. Bream Benedict. Mm -hmm. Bream Benedict versus Malovanie. The Benoni game we had already this. checked. I don't know where it is. Green Benedict. Okay, this is the position, last position. Black is totally winning. Yes, so and Green Benedict is playing with Malavani. Malavani, so he is losing. Yes, uh, you know they so, were competing really so well. So Ukraine is for winning. Iceland. Okay, so there is no surprise in this mm -hmm. match. But it was about. But to. what about uh, Kazakhstan versus Azerbaijan? Nachivan A. Where is? Kazakhstan uh, versus Azerbaijan number nine. Number nine. Yes. And Kazakhstan won against Azerbaijan Nachuan like three to one. This is also surprising. Yes, no? this is also surprising. Uh, maybe not so big surprise because Kazakhstan is nine place. Azerbaijan Nachuan <coughs> is third. Kazakhstan was the favorite. Three mm -hmm. to one. Yes. Okay. So, okay. Maybe we go back to which board? First board: Azerbaijan, Mongolia. This is 3 to 1. 3 to 1 and the third. Yes, Azerbaijan. I do Suleyman won against Ganerdene in this position. Ah, Suleyman won. White won, yes. Okay. So, what board is this? This is Bri, yes. This is, okay, this one. Okay. Avalian Artur, let's go back to Avalian Artur. Probably the old matches are finished, mm -hmm. yes. It is still continuing. 30 continue. Montenegro finish. Which one is continuing? And Egaldiev and Avalian. Let's go to this match. Avalian. Russia. You know, he's going to have the Lucena uh, at the end. It will be very instructive for our followers to learn about the Lucena position. Ah, we can talk about this a little bit. Uh -huh. Yes, if you want to. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, uh, the know, other one. Is he he resigned, but, we, but uh, we are finishing as, you know, the board. Uh, simply if in this very position there is, you know, Rook cutting the king from the pawn, like two lines, and White skin can simply you know, the move, board. move towards to the, um, the board is not promotion zone. Like, uh, wait, mm -hmm. can I take the move back? Huh. G7, uh, you know, check. I just get behind the pawn. This is the famous Lucena position in which you have the bridging technique of uh, getting the king out of here without op uh, letting opponent to check, like rook to e4, and he plays. 
put somewhere check check that is how you build a bridge towards him it is really important to cut the opponent's king by two lines to the promotion zone of the queen uh, pawn because if the king was on e7 instead of d7 on the last position you know takes takes oh what we'll double click no, no, it's okay on the last position takes takes if the king were on a7 king f7 is draw but this is not this is the lucena technique by building the bridge Mm -hmm. so, That's uh, why he resigned. So, on uh, Avalian also is losing. 3 to 1. 3 to 1. Very for big Turkmenistan. Surprise. Biggest in surprise of the day. Turkmenistan, really, it's a big surprise. Okay, he is making what you just showed oh. on the board. I, they are really continuing to yeah, play the final. He is still playing. I, I thought that he was resigning. I think he resigned now. No, looks, this like, the, looks like resign, no? Did he play rook e4? Rookie yes, four, also yes. The, he knows the technique. So resign. Okay, the game mm -hmm. is ended, okay. Very similar fashion. Ah, mm -hmm. Okay, we have some, uh, some technical issues. blockage in mm -hmm. camera. So the game ended uh, already in favor of white. Uh, I think he, most of the games have finished, what do you think? Let me check from the parents. And see, sh show us the results. Uh, maybe we'll yes, all the games have been finished. Yes, maybe and we can. The results. Two were... big surprises. Yes, Turkmenistan has beaten Russia, mm -hmm. three to one, and also maybe three big surprises. Armenia lost to Malaysia. Armenia lost Turkey to Malaysia. won against Serbia. Serbia Turkey won also against Serbia. This is also a big surprise. surprise. We can consider because Turkey took was is number 32 and, there is and no, Serbia is number 8. Mm, there is no other such surprises. Three surprises already, a lot of surprises on the first round. An exciting start for the audience. Yes, okay. We'll, tomorrow we'll have two rounds in the Double morning rounds. and in the afternoon. Uh, tomorrow morning round starts at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. It is according to the Turkish uh, time, which is Greenwich Mean Time plus three hours. Yes. With so, the difference of two hours uh, with the European time zone. And the afternoon, the round starts at five o'clock. So see you in the morning at 10 o'clock. Bye bye then. See you.